Who is the devil that has spoken to us now? Well, fuck you guys. Oh, the devil in the sky. Oh, never mind. It's, um, Jester. Hello, Jester. Hold up. Let me get my mic in. <gasps> is that what the kids are calling it these days? Apparently. Let me... Do I have to edit fucking settings again? Uh, maybe. Let me link... Oh, ne never mind, I can hear you guys. Let me link... But my microphone has to do the stupidest fucking thing where every time I plug it in, um... They, and... and I accidentally pressed the mute button on my fucking microphone. Um, basically what happens is every time I plug Posted it in... Posted the link in, uh, broadcast chat. What now? I posted the link to my eye side of things in broadcast chat. Gotcha. So it's... I'm almost uh, done um, with this uh, video I'm making. <laughs> Let's see, how long is it? Um, wow, it's 18.16. That's the time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to MechCast Episode 9. Yay. Sonic Adventure Race Part 3, and I'm going to need my... Dick out for Harambe? No. Oh, uh, it's a little bit late for that. No. But, uh... <laughs> no, we're maybe, not. Maybe if we'd have gotten him out sooner, he'd still be with us. I want that... to say a joke about me taking off my pants right now, but I'm just going to not. Oh, God. Well, I have seen you, and you do look like an albino gorilla. Well, fuck you too, then, bitch! I also look like an albino gorilla. What about... I don't know what you're talking about. What about me? Uh, you look like an albino echidna. I guess you don't chuckle, then. I had to literally check for something real quick. Not right, something so. not something you guys would um not not something you got not something that would be safe for work. <laughs> I'm sure someone's gonna be pissed off at me for doing that. <laughs> you do realize you do realize I'm just uh, I'm just wondering if someone's gonna be pissed off at the fact that uh there's like four people that at everyone in the chat. It's how we shill things. I know. I'm talking nobody's about, like, gonna notice if you, nobody's gonna notice if you don't do anything. Either if you don't if you don't don't be like, hey, you I'm over about here. It was four in a row where it was like four at everyone tag. I it don't didn't help that I just posted one by all the videos. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Navi, shut the fuck up. Hey, listen. Hey, watch out. Hey, listen. I'd be like to Navi, Hello. shut the fuck up. You stupid fairy. So, it looks like for my poll, I'm going to be... Fuck you. Fuck no. you. I like her. Jester, when Midna exists, all other Zelda sidekicks are meaningless. No, no, Mifa, Mifa. Midna. You see, once we you know, go fish. Well, now we know what back. kind of. Now we know what kind of girls Kevin is into. You do realize he's I... in. He's into tiny goblin women, and who transform into larger you goblin midgets? women. You do real midgets. You do re You do realize. Eyes the appeal. Oh, it. It's all right. I'm into tiny goblin women that transform into larger goblin women too. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Yeah, for real. Uh, yeah. Yeah, for real. What are you on about? That's a good question. Um, so guess what I found at the Family Dollar today? Give me a sec. Crack I'm gonna. I gotta. Cocaine. I gotta adjust the title. Oh, cause. I just realized that you posted the video without the name of the game in the title. Yes. 
because I'm stupid. Yeah. Alex, do I... I feel like I, I've taken too many stupid pills this morning. Man. My share of stupid pills this morning, so, you know. Every time I... I every time... Every so often, my laptop decides to close those Chrome for no reason, and then it rem it disables ad block. Don't ask me how that makes any sense. I think it makes perfect sense. No, it doesn't. No, it fucking doesn't. Also, hi, Amanda. Hey, Ben. Hi. So just search for the marker for the news from. Yeah. I don't know why. We're gonna, I, we're gonna start I don't, from the very top, baby. Yeah, I don't know why I called it August, not August, but you know. Ah, damn it! I gotta do it from Chrome. <laughs> Fucking all right, so hell! Can I start with the topics? Um, no, we're we're not we're not actually working on the game yet. Um. I have to. It's just we could we could talk about random bullshit if you want. Well, I mean, uh, uh, no. Wait till we. I found a Len. Uh, I found a Len Kapazinski uh, movie at the dollar store today. God damn it! A Chrome you know, is. Sega. Do any of you know who Len Kapazinski is? Ugh. <sighs> I'm assuming no. You would assume correctly. Yeah. Come on! I just saw the news, and I'm just pissed. Are you looking through the news topics, or are you I looking at... I that actually got me pissed, because I actually thought it was a good... Um, I actually like it. Boy! We'll, we'll get through when we guy... get to it. That guy on that motorcycle must have the world's biggest penis. Um, I'll give you a hint. I don't, know how he can ri I don't know how he can ride the motorcycle with such a big cock. You know, it... Um, I'll give you a hint. It involves, um... It involves, um... Uncles. Uncle Grandpa? Yeah, I saw that one. I don't like that show. Oh, come on. It's a good show. I'm trying to grab... It's awesome. I'm, no, I'm trying to grab the video chat. At but... Uh, my computer keeps closing Chrome. Ugh. Ugh. Ooga, ooga. No, 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 I just had, um, I just took a huge gulp of, uh, soda right now. Neat. Tell me more about your tale of woe. I got, uh, right, a... Alright, we don't need to have, we don't ha need to have the, the titles specifically right. We can just get into the fucking game, I guess. Um... Uh, who so who wants to feel pain for me saying a sentence? Because I we promise you. Love, pain. I okay. Pain is something love. that I am accustomed to. Like you rough, because I'd rather feel pain than nothing at I all. Fucking hell. I was playing a uh, golf story. Feel pain. And um, there's this one hole where I got um, it was a par four. And I got a hole in one on that uh, course. I recorded it. However, that file got deleted. And I was playing okay. through. I was playing through it off um, camera or whatever. And I recorded that again. And uh, or not. Rec I comp I got the hole in one uh, on that par four on the same hole. But I wasn't recording so it, so I didn't get a chance to save it. Oh damn. And, um, if you want to know why that's so, um, salt-inducing, a part four, it's only Select reasonable to get to, um, 
Part four, it's almost impossible to get a hole in one. Oh, by like, the, the only okay, the only Alex, I'm just I'm Delta. just on the uh, game right now. Alex, in the game, but I have it paused. Uh, Go ahead and unpause it, cause I'm ahead of you. Okay. The only holes in golf where you can possibly get a hole in one are par threes, and that's about it. Uh, question: Are we streaming? Uh, I'm still yes, on. we're starting. Yes. This time I'm going to be playing as character who date who Sonic Stalker. Amy. You're gonna play as big. I might get to big. Who knows? Yeah, saying, are you playing as big right now? No. Sonic no. Big is not Sonic Stalker. Was it? Didn't he stalk Sonic in Sonic Adventure 2? No. No, Amy is and forever will be Sonic Stalker. Yeah, she's been that stalking him. Been... She stalked. The reason why Amy stalks Sonic is because she got a tarot reading that told her that she was destined to be with him. Hello, bored. And make believe with you. Just because you hear Just because you hear the words destined to be with someone does not always include being married. Uh, Amy, I do seem to recall you having to be rescued by Sonic. How do you afford... Amy, you're a 12-year-old girl. How do you afford all this? What's going on here? Uh, she takes on assassination missions with that giant hammer of hers. Okay, that makes too much sense. Oh, fuck you, Amy. That's a perfectly good way ace of bread... And whatnot. Attention in oh, Station oh. Square. Pingus. Oh, that is all. Uh, Edna donated $200 for me to, um. Oh my. And then Eggman does the really DX. I need to get a fucking Streamlabs set up for this thing. And then Eggman's at his computer, is like, get a load of that. I am, I am so sorry. I don't know. I guess. Eggman, can it I be? guess. What's that? Even though Streamlabs is kind of fucky with some people, I guess we ought to, like, I don't know, have have the Streamlabs set up until such time as they, uh, cause problems. Hey, are you alright? You look uh, kind of hurt. So, are you, you're both racing right now, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so I am behind. Yes. Yes. The first topic of Mob Psycho Season 3. One of the episodes has. 20,000 hand-drawn animation Yay! frames somehow, and all episodes are, comp oh, are no! completely Let's produced and ready to air. Oh, by the way, Amy is being chased by, Zer by a robot named Zero who can't seem to comprehend this thing called Doors. That he's like, he's like the Daleks in early seasons of Doctor Who. No, 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 even wait, better. Guys, told me to capture worry. you to I'll get OnlyFans pictures early. No, no, no. Even better. To keep us both from harm. Oh, better. no. I'll stand by you all no, no, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Even better. Or, oh, no. or it's like those aliens from the movie Signs. So, yeah. Amy is followed around by this bird. Bird who bumped into us. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and so Amy... And Amy is nowhere near as fast as Sonic or Tails or Knuckles. Yeah, that always made me playing as her kind of irritating. Yeah. Oh, and she also can't homing attack, but she's got a really big fucking hammer. Oh, by the way, I end up... How did you eat that fucking emerald? You're a robot. Were you built around it? My hero, Sonic! Great, Amy finds Sonic and... Long time no see! Uh, uh, Amy! Oh, what's the first um, Okay, so... So, does what's anyone have any problem? comments on Mob Psycho or no? Uh, you know what? That sounds like it's probably gonna I be pretty good. Be 
Yeah, I, I've only seen a little bit of Mob Psycho, oh, but I've heard that uh, the first season was good, second season it was kind of weird. No way. My sisters like Mob Psycho. I don't know. I don't know. Like. The... Oh wait! Oh wait! Could it Mob Psycho is... describe uh, Kick Vic in a nutshell? Oh well, yes. Mob Psycho yeah. is. Oh, maybe I was thinking about One Punch Man, because they have basically the same art style. Well, it is written by the same guy. Oh, same creator. Yeah, it's the same dude. Also, speaking of One Punch, they finally announced Season 3 is happening. Yeah, yeah. hopefully it'll be way better than Season 2, or the fucking TV show. Not the TV show, or the fucking manga. Because, you know, we have season one being, being like, really fucking good. Season two, who got farmed out to the goddamn B team. team. And then, all of a sudden, the, the, the manga just goes off the fucking rails. Saitama literally farts to get away from the sun? Yeah, somebody, whoever was writing that show needs to, needs to, not the show. Whoever's writing seeing the manga needs to like seriously reevaluate their lives. He's the creator of so weird. Uh, One Punch. No, he's not writing the the manga. Uh, he's writing the web comic. The web comic is different. The web comic is weird in terms of art style, but at the very least, it's one is good at writing stories. He's not good at drawing them. Yeah. So the webcomic is like very simplistically drawn, we'll say. It's not terrible, but it is very simple. And by the way, oh, and and then Alex, do you mind if I explain Amy's gameplay? Yeah, go ahead. So Amy is on the run from the robot that we've been and seeing in earlier, or and Zero. Well, basically, we'll make Amy feel the same pain that Sonic feels. Is Eggman... That was the control mode. What? I'm trying to find the control box. It's a lever. Yeah. God, I... God, I hate this stage. This version of Twinkle Park is awful. Twinkle Park. Go fuck yourself. At least with Sonic, it's somewhat bearable. Hell, I'll take playing as big in this stage over playing as Amy. I don't care if that sounds like blasphemy. Yeah, I should not be punished for speaking the truth. So I got a question for all y'all. What, Jester? Um, this one's a bit serious. Have you ever heard something that emotionally it convinces you, or... Emotionally, it's um, convincing or tempting to agree with, but logically, it's just bullshit. What's that? Yeah. Are there... Uh, just uh, some things I've been hearing recently. Or just uh, overwhelming uh, negativity I see towards uh, shit. Yeah. Oh, and the goal of Amy... Amy's stages is to get to a balloon. I'll admit, I kind of have those, um... It just fucks me up emotionally. I'm just wondering, how do y'all do Eh. Yeah. If it ain't true, if it ain't true, fuck it. Yeah. That's... That pretty much has to be my attitude. Yep. Yeah, you're free for this stage, Amy, but the robot can still see up your skirt. What doesn't help things is my uh, mind tries to autofill um, my thoughts to, to uh, Twinkle Park. say negative things about stuff I believe in, which really annoys me. I don't even know why it tries to autofill. <laughs> we escaped the robot. Uh, should we go on to the next uh, topic? Yeah. 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 Alright, so, uh, what's the next topic? Oh, uh, Tiny Toons is, uh, first, uh, seen the reboot leaked, and, uh, it does not look like good. Yeah, it looks like shit. 
I haven't, I haven't watched it. I haven't watched that, and I don't, don't plan on on watching the show. I mean, they made, they made the two uh, romantic character siblings. So now, granted, rabbits do do a lot of that in real life, but this is not real life. This is a cartoon. Yeah. This is, this is, Intent this, this is like a cheaper. This looks like a cheaper version oh, of the right Animaniacs right reboot, right and that's saying a lot. Yeah, the Animaniacs reboot was already kind of cheap looking. I mean, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't as good as the original. This just looks now, now, infinitely calm down. worse. Like, even the Animaniacs looks better in its reboot. This just looks cheaply made. Oh, hi, this Gamma. Looks, this looks corporate. This looks very corporate. Gamma, why are you bothering to check the other empty cells? It makes no sense. Ah, uh, hell. Yeah, I tilted it the wrong fucking way. What do you want? I guess, are you at the Tilted Towers? <laughs> no, he's on uh, Knuckles' version of the Sky Deck. Nope. Tilted, what the fuck are Tilted Towers? Fortnite. Oh, yeah, no. I don't keep track of these things. I don't need to tell you anything. So, Alex, how do you, you feel about now. how do you feel about Gamma? Like Gamma. You, you guys yeah. said that the two um, romantic characters were now siblings, go. right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, listen. Please, Mr. Robot. Uh, the lip syncing is I'm still in. awful. I'm in. Can you help us, please. I got the bobbled banjo. <laughs> You have feelings for something you know nothing about. Illogical. Highly why, why illogical. Why are the exploding barrels making squishing noises? Why are they making the same squishing good. noises that the egg chair did? Hey, buddy, well, well Jane oh, by the, oh, by the way. Uh, oh, by the way, Alex, I, um... I was able oh, to. There's a new, uh, there's a new Blu-ray version of Star Trek: oh, The Next Generation okay. being re-released. Again, this new one just released last year now. Well, TNG has been, been uh, re-released and re-re-released a few times now. So. You sure? right. Jesus, tap dancing Christ, Amy. Uh, You're. Uh, Although I have the UK import, which is a region-free version, because, you know, it's, uh, it's region-free, and it's the same fucking discs. And it was cheaper. So, uh, next topic, um, the Biden administration was forced to get some of his passports back. Yeah. Yeah, they were, I love how they were like, oh, they didn't take his passports, and then the FBI was like, like, uh, we had to give them back, actually. And it's like, yeah, uh, we actually yeah. violated the law oh, again. <laughs> oh, by the way, we have to play an awesome game. Mm, orange, something, 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 orange man bad. Orange man evil bad. Orange man bad, as I like to say. <laughs> by the way, both of, um... Both of Amy's upgrades are in this room. Okay, um, next topic. So remember when we talked about the Spider-Man mod that removed all the fried flags? Yeah. That, that, that turns out that not all the assists for that were made by Insomniac themselves for the yeah, all, combat Middle Eastern localization. Yeah, all of the assets for that are in the game. All he did was just swap the assets that are already in game. And that's yep. it. Congratulations, that's it. you get the warrior feather. Which literally that's does me. nothing. Is racist or too homophobic? Which one do we pick? Behold the warrior um, feather. I'll pick racist. Now you can do the spin hammer attack. Press and hold the, the action spin button and move the directional because, pad like, in a circle. Such a bitch fit over it when it was stuff that Insomniac made themselves. By the way, um, uh, for the Middle Eastern, this attack does nothing. Yeah, Middle Eastern uh, Albert versions. But hey, at least now we can fully recreate Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. 
Oh yeah, they add him into the game, model and all. Yeah, Not so you can play that. as. Uh... Please tell me they have the mod of Toby Maguire's voice. I, I don't know. think that exists. So. There should. One day, one day. We'd we'd have to pull from all of the Spider-Man games. Yeah. <laughs> and then like a deep fake a bunch of lines. <laughs> no, no, no. After YouTube pooping the rest. No, no, no. What they'd have to do... No, no, no. Oh, what we want are lines from Spider-Man 1... What we want are lines from... Are the Spider-Man lines, the Bruce Campbell narration, and the Mook dialogue. <laughs> Circus in town. Oh, God damn it, every time! Circus in town, Peter says, is Octane dies... No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, and then... No, no, and then, um... And then you hear... No, no, no. And then you hear the, uh, mooks go, Oof! Ah! Oh, look at that. It's giant chaos. Chaos 6? Yep. Chaos. So, uh... You gotta throw stuff at them. You gotta keep yeah. Yeah. So, so, we, so what you gotta do, you have to clench your butt cheeks and then No, we're not clenching our butt cheeks and <laughs> and throwing a throwing, a, a throwing a a massive Detroit smash oh, at no. him. <laughs> Alright, so Alex, every time you get hit at his knuckles, you are contractively obligated to say oh no. I am Yeah. Okay, uh, next topic, um, Superman and oh, no. Lois, uh, Superman, Superman and Lois to recast Jonathan Tennant role as, uh, Jordan exits the CW series. No. Yeah. What, I, I don't know, I, I have no connections to this, so does anyone have any takes on this? Um, allegedly, let me see here. Yeah, so, a Allegedly, there's some kind of, uh, issue where, with, with this, like, like, he, uh, didn't, didn't return to set in time to shoot season three, so, like, he just abandoned the production, and, um, and is... A wall in that regard, I guess. Yeah. Oh god, the Super Sun is on A wall. Ah! Although I, I, I am aghast to wonder why they didn't name the other Super Sun in the uh, Superman and Lois show. But why isn't the other guy named Connor? The hell is that? Well, hell is hitting me? I feel like it's mostly due to the fact that at the time Young Justice was using Connor. But they gave John Connor's Connor's jacket and shirt. That's stupid. They also gave him a weird mohawk. That's extra stupid. So on top of Tom Taylor giving a Jonathan massive L's we got this show giving him even more L's is there black stuff causing me problem why what, what is all the smoke here oh you said all the by black the way stuff is gone too by far. the way Alex um there are parts of the platform are there are parts of parts of the area on in which you're battling chaos six that are collapsed apps all right that are destroyed oh. so you can only a traverse a decent chunk oh, of the it. Glass tops. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, Dan, are we gonna acknowledge your racism? Uh, that wasn't racism. The racism. It was there racism. Is, look, okay. There is, there is, there is, there is only, there is only one, uh, there is only one goo monster, her in, in the world. 
Emerald that, that feeds on Chaos Emeralds. That does not erase Constitute. That's racist. Um, you can't God say that. damn it. Alright, next topic. Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard winds about contract she voluntarily signed for Jurassic World Trilogy. Chris Pratt steps in and earns her more money. Look, I can appreciate, like, you know, not, not knowing what everybody's making, you know, what the other stars of the film are making. Hang on, that, that being peeved that somebody else, else who, you know, who you're, you know, equally billed with if, is getting more money than you. But at the same time, like, you kind of sign the contract, so... But I, you know, I also say, you know, well, it would be nice if they were a little more upfront about, like, what everybody was making. So on the one hand, you know, fuck the movie studios, but on the other hand, and, like, like you're... You're making several times most people's yearly income from to be in these movies, guys. Yeah. On top, and... I'll give, I'll give, I'll give credit to Chris Pratt for being a Chad, but, like... Yeah. Uh, probably not, but... Uh... Yeah. Next topic, uh, Pokemon Company embraces wokeism, announcing a multi-million dollar campaign to support social equality. Yay! I just want, before we get to you on the stuff, I'm all pointing out that... No, social equity, that. not social equality. Those are two very different things. I don't know English, I'm sorry, but uh, before we get to you on with that... I'll but you equity. speak English! Have we finished? Technically speaking, the Pokemon Company is a separate company from Nintendo. Nintendo only owns about 30% of the company, so they don't really have a say. So this yeah, that's really Nintendo. weird. This isn't a Nintendo thing, this is just a Pokemon thing. Oh, damn. Okay. I'm sure Nintendo is equally looking at- Nintendo is equally looking at this at, with cringe as much as the rest of us. Bum, 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 well, let's bum. see what they're talking about. Well, we have to- let's see what they're, uh, doing. Okay, first. so... Uh, the statement they put out says, For 25 years, the Pokemon brand has been delivering Joy and entertainment to fans around the world through video games, the Pokemon trading card game, animation, and more. The statement began. The document points out that the company is committed to donating a minimum of $25 million over the next five years to organizations dedicated to improving the lives of children and supporting social equity. Okay, so the first part I'm alright with, the second part I'm a little less alright with, because social yeah. equity is, uh, well, that's a vague and nebulous term. Zero, zero's like, exactly. zero be like, I could still see up your skirt, little lady. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm, um, in case, uh, any, um, any audio picks up on my mic, I'm looking at a video on how to add chapters to my videos. There. I think you huh? have to do that in the, um... What's Started. this place? Yeah, I think you have to do it in the video description. Time stamp out the stuff, and then it'll automatically add. Come on, I need at least one of you. This sounds like the Mission Impossible theme. You still fighting Chaos Six? Amy yeah. trying to sneak Sonic Oh no. Okay, next topic. Uh, ben Riley is going to be in Across the Spider Verse. Awesome. It looks like I actually like, know the guy. Like, it looks I like he's in like the 90s animation style. Yeah, which is really good because that's the best era of Ben Riley's costume. Yeah. I actually know the guy who created Ben Riley. Well, co-created Ben Riley. Is Christopher Daniel Barnes going to be in this? I hope so. Because then we'll get to hear him scream shocker again. 
You know what? They should they should subvert it. They should have him say, "Shocker, get back here, Shocker. I'll chase you to the ends of the earth, Shocker." Shocker! I'll chase you to the ends of the earth. I think that was good. I would have done it louder, but I would have gotten yelled at. All right, um, we get to our first big topic of the night, I think. Should I start? Go ahead. Yep. Gee, All right, what so Multiverses has decided to declare war I'm on dreaming. its entire fan base and has basically oh banned all modding from place. the game. Oh, boy. Yeah, and it has not, it has not been going well for them. So yeah, the mining community is in shambles. The uh, fan base is fucking pissed, but still somewhat playing the game. I don't know if numbers have dropped. I wouldn't be surprised. Just kind of a... I don't even know why they would do this. Oh yeah, because they sell the costumes with microtransactions. That's probably has to do with it. I wonder why that man bothers making things like this. What's everyone's take on it? I mean... Who knows? I don't care about modding in general, but it's still stupid. Yeah. You done? What about you done? Oh, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry, I'm disconnected, the son of a bitch. Where do you think you're going, AD? You gotta wait for him to come back now before we continue. Man, no! You can't get away this now easily. Now teach me human play. I will, I will always love that clip. Sonic, help! Please save me, Sonic. Too late, buddy. Birdie. It's a chaos emerald. What? I don't need you when I've got this. Gemma! At your service, sir. Dispose of these annoying pests. Give them all you got. Oh, my. Where you aye, aye, sir. We'll comply. I've got better things to do. Uh, um, I guess we wait to do the other topics. Let's see. Sorry. Well, that's Stop, fine for Mr. me, considering. Adding chapters. Yeah. One of those internet oh. died. Oh, that's possible considering that shit happens to me sometimes. Please stop! Yeah. Amy! That's one of Eggman's cards! Oh, Dunn is not playing Sonic. Way. Yeah, Diax, no. so it's definitely he should start again. He helped me before by letting me escape. Oh, I want to play this computer robot crashed. is different. You don't need no, to actually, hurt no, him, okay? Alex, you just crashed. need to throw all the robots as they hey, come at you like we did Alex, with just, with Sonic. Oh, he's back. Okay, I, I guess I'll let him back. go then. Yeah, uh, my power went out. What? Yeah, that's what we figured. The A carrier's moving You said out that you thought his computer... Uh, We're fresh out of time. Take the internet out fast. Yeah. Oh, technically you? both can happen at the same time. Are you still broadcasting? Uh, I should be. I knew you would save me, Sonic. You're my hero. Okay, Alex, all you gotta do is is whack the robots and then throw them at at the no, at I, chaos. I know that, but the game is the game was fucking with me and uh, I. I was hitting the robots, and then I wasn't able to pick them up. You want to know what uh, Brain Scratch Comms ended up doing with this segment where Gamma uh, is having those flashbacks? Or uh, is having those memory bits? Uh, yeah. Basically, what they did was just throw in... Im Basically, for their revisit, they threw in off-model images from the IDW... On a comics, images of the crew of the Brain Scratch crew themselves, and Roger Craig Smith taking out the trash. Oops. 
dressed in the Sonic costume. The joke that is the best. Yeah, that is the best part of Sonic Boom. <laughs> Whoops, one too many. <laughs> uh, I wonder. I have now to. I'm even further behind, but it ain't even my goddamn fault. But fuck you, the... Thor. You ruined game night. But Alex, the game should have saved for you. No, yeah, the game came saved for me. It, it just, you know. Stop Who's being stupid, Alex. Let's get out of here. Hey, uh, Alex. Yeah. You know you what do you think about multiverse standing on Mars? I think they're Wonder one they that killed the game before it even starts. Friends? Yeah, that's, it's stupid. Hey, it's gotta be one of those wow. online only games that gets shut down like a year or two, and then no one's why would, play it again. So why would a bird have, have a pendant? And it's gotta be depressing because the game is awesome and no one's going to be able to play it again. Yeah. I bet he does. So I'll help well, I mean, you find fair, your family. Fans I've have resurrected the fusion ball, so maybe well fans will be able to play this game to work offline. Yeah, yeah probably not. And we'll see. One of these what days. Check it out. I, mean, I mean, it's not shut down yet, but we'll get some. But I don't think we really have much to say. Let's go on to our next topic. Like Warner Brothers Discovery being a bunch of retards. How are they being retards? Oh, they've been canceling all of the animated stuff, even the good stuff. Like her, such as. That, but they've also, they, they've also been removing all the shows off of uh, HBO Max. The grant itself this is bad, but a lot of it's also good. I'm all, I'm going to read the list now. So, a three, a two, and a one, Aquaman, Fiona Atlantis, Close Enough, Dodo, yeah. Elliot Murph, uh, Esmond Roy, The Fungies, Infinity Train, Little Ellen, Mau Mau, Messi Goes to Opa, uh, Maya's Magic Playground, Mighty Magic Swords, Oda, OKKO, OK The OEM Moon Show, The Pac Man and Ghost of Adventures, oh. I didn't even know this was on HBO Max, uh, some Stress Sesame Street specials, along with over 200 episodes of the classic episodes, you know, the good ones. Summer Camp Island, The Not Too Late Show with Elmo, The Runaway Bunny, The Bitter Dorsa, uh, Tug and Seek, Uncle Grandpa, Victor and Valentino, and Yabba Dabba Dinosaurs, among many, many, many more. And there's, there's a lot. It, it's, it's weird, like, I like what they're doing with DC, but then they're just destroying their animation department. And it gets worse! Um, sometime after they removed all the shows, a report came out saying that Cartoon Network wanted to get the creators a week notice in advance. Because one of the reasons that they've been removing shows is, uh, get this, uh, royalties. They didn't want- Congratulations! It always comes oh, back uh, to fucking royalties. You it? get the long worse. hammer. No, 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 no. It, it gets even worse. Um, according to their contracts, the royalties goes to their health care. Here's the care. long hammer. Their attack radius <laughs> is now increased. Oh, <laughs> you, you fucking attack. cunts, Warner Brothers. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I take wow. that back. They lack both the warmth and depth. Oh, it gets even worse. So instead of giving the creators a week in advance to know their stuff's being removed, Discovery just pushes the nuke button and does it uh, I I instead of warning any anyone. Catch yeah. the Cartoon Network off guard. Yeah. And guess what else happened? A lot of the stuff oh. is out of print on DVD and Blu-ray. Or yeah. was never released on it in the first place. Yeah. And guess where that leaves us? No. With nothing. Oh, rest in peace, Stefan Carl, you magnificent oh, man. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. I actually have a meme I, saying that's uh, pretty funny. Hold up. It I, gotta goes say, I, I, I do want to say I'm super pissed off about what they did with Close Enough and Infinity Train, because those are, those are really good fucking shows. The, the Beanmouth Aquaman out. show, I didn't care about, but, like, the honestly, none of this shit... Will be if, departing if, soon. None Amy of this shit has... would be happening if they'd have just, I don't know, oh, decided to, uh... 
upload all the videos to YouTube. And then they could give each, everybody who worked on each episode a cut of that episode's ad revenue. No, that, rather that than having, money, rather than having to give money. people a cut of every single subscription fee, you know? No, 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 that would cost them money still. But it, no, it wouldn't. It would cost them less money. They want all the money to themselves done, don't you see? They want all the money, man. Oh, all right, God. all right, all right. Let's uh, line things up, because I got a 4chan meme involving um, um, the You Are a Pirate okay, song. Um, more Discovery stuff. This one's weird. So uh, Discovery had a bunch of um, original projects. One got canceled. I forget what it was called. What was it? Let me just look real quick. Uh, it was cancelled today, I believe. There is, uh, I know it's here, I know it's here. Yeah, no, several things have been cancelled, actually. Driftwood, Driftwood was cancelled, um, and, but then, make it even weirder, suspicious. a bunch of exclusive HBO Max stuff has been moved off of HBO Max, like, it's not even finished. Like, it's yeah, that's weird. Because uh, exclusives so are supposed to help sell the fucking platform. Why the fuck are they moving them to other streaming services? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, this is stuff that's supposed to sell it. Why are you moving it to a subscription service you don't even own? That's their idiot. Well, that was what I... See, that was what I asked when they moved the Harry Potter films off of HBO Max and put them on fucking Peacock, of all places. Why? That doesn't make any fucking sense. I, I guess they figured they could make more money from having them over on Peacock for two years than they could getting people to subscribe to HBO Max. To, it, I don't, I don't get this. I don't get any of this shit. I thought like, okay. Warner Brothers Discovery would be smarter than this, but no, they're just okay. as oh. stupid. Okay, hmm. I got okay. it. Yeah. I got uh, something uh, a little bit more uh, uh, light uh, part. Yeah. Well, I'm being attacked by a robot again. Oh, and I'm on Amy's last action stage. I need to read this list. I need to read this list. Let me, let me read this list, guys. Um, okay, so the list is as follows. Uh, Batman, Kid Crusader, Mary, Little Batman, The Day the Earth Blew Up, a Looney Tunes movie, Bye Bye Rabbit, a Looney Tunes musical, Did I Do That to the Holidays, a Steve Urkel story, and The Amazing World of Gumball Movie, which hurts me. So yeah, much. I was looking no, forward no. to that one. Um, how is it a bad it's thing if Gumball, uh, if the Amazing World of Gumball gets, it's removed? Because Gumball be... is a great show. No, it's, it's not. So and I've been looking forward it's to that fucking, fucking good. To that hey, fucking Gumball Kevin movie since it was released. <laughs> we can't get Kevin. Kevin, 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 Kevin created the group. He can't be kicked from it. Nope. I'm you can train now because I thought it would be funny to read since it was. Uh, yeah, all right. Oh yeah, and uh, HBO Max also has no plans for Young Justice season five. Good. Let's get off the mic, Steve, because Kevin has been subjecting me to the uh, to the horrors of uh, of Young Justice since uh, what was it, season four? Yeah, since season yeah. four. That season four came out, and yeah. holy shit, how do you get away with some of this shit? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, um, to end off the animation section, like, but no, Discovery start off pretty promising with them reworking DC, but holy <laughs> shit, yeah. the way they're Which... treating their animation department. It, like, this is awful. Like, genuinely awful. Like, even the bad stuff doesn't serve this kind of treatment. Like, you're taking away what is basically their healthcare and screwing uh, countless shows, canceling them into the dirt when they're almost finished. Like, it's, Why don't you it's a complete and utter mess, and you're moving them to other streaming services when you could have them on your own. It's, it's so weird. It's, it's, it's incomprehensible to me. Like, I don't know. But does anyone else have any thoughts on that? Nope. I, I think you summed it up pretty well. This is just a fucked up situation in general. Can I uh, read this meme now? They have lost, apparently, Discovery has lost over $2 billion in market capital. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I'm, as one of their stockholders, and by, I, by that I mean I own, like, two shares, um... I am not 
I am not really uh, all that enthused about oh. this because they're. I, I've lost a little bit of, well, quite a bit of value for my portfolio because of this. By the way, Alex, one other thing I should mention: there is a tie-in in Young Justice comic that takes place after season four, or that has that. I'm sh that. When that comic is done, I am going to suggest that for Comics for All. It's you a six-part comic. Let's, you know what? Let's fucking do it. Let's let's goddamn get it done. But here's the thing: right, you'll need the context. Of, but here's the thing: you'll need the context of the rest of the tie-in comics and um yeah, and the show. Get, when we get when we get done watching the show, we'll do the we'll do all that. So, uh, before yeah, I get to end the animation topic off, when they were deleting all the episodes, one episode of Uncle Grandpa remained, and that was called Please Help Me. Oh, God. <laughs> Why does Uncle Grandpa exist? I don't uh, like that show. Honest, that show is a travesty. It's funny. It's pretty, it's pretty damn funny. Like, I'll be honest. Like, early on, it starts slow, but damn, that show was really funny later. And it kind of got yeah. fucked over. Yeah, it got canceled pretty brutally. Oh, it didn't get canceled. Also, I will say, it has the best episode of Steven Universe. Which is also, not written by the storyboarders. I do, I do, I do want to say something funny. In the Uncle Grandpa crossover of Steven Universe, they, they, um... Foreshadowed something that happened in the final fucking episode. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, you just gotta put that in the crossover you all hate. That's that's pretty clever, actually. Uh, don't worry, none of this is canon. Fire the fucking cannon. Cannon? Okay. <laughs> so can I finally read this yes. name? Well, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's a 4chan uh, version of um, the You Are a Pirate song. I'll sing it to the tune of it. Oh, Y'all no. are our filthy D. This head thread, this here thread maker has no right to be. Don't listen to him, because obviously, OP is a faggot. We are alive. You didn't realize that, right? Yeah. I heard the word retard, and I thought it was all right to say that. Uh, try to... Uh... Look, I think it's alright if we do, like, one per stream at most, but, like, yeah. like at, at, you know, at least it's not in in context of anybody specific. Amy, you have the slowest ladder climb animation in this entire uh, game. Although, although, Nick Ricada did, that, although Nick Ricada did get away with calling the, uh, the guys from AFPAC that word... Sorry about when the they, gallon. I when, didn't they, know. when they swatted him because he was watching that that really fucking stupid um, debate the between uh, between Mr. Medicare and um, Nick Fuentes. Who's Nick Speaking Fuentes? Nick Fuentes, the Mexican quote-unquote white nationalist guy who is like the the he he's it's hard to describe he's fucking retarded i think is the best way to put it oh oh and um, speaking of fucking retarded let's talk about that uh uh what's his name that tate guy andrew yes! tate what oh, was his God. name yeah i don't even know yeah so i don't know what's happening well, Andrew Tate has turned into the the internet's boogeyman, and like, granted, he is apparently he involved in some kind of illegal shit and was arrested for a, for like beating people up and oh yeah, allegedly child trafficking and allegedly beating people up and stuff like that. And so you know, I'm not I'm not gonna stick up for the guy in any regard. And he's by all accounts, I have seen him to be a shithead online, and he's a fucking idiot. It in all regards, uh, and he got then he got banned from uh, he got banned from Twitter. Then he got banned from Facebook. Then he got, then banned, he got banned from TikTok. From TikTok, yeah. and I think he got banned from Twitch. And um, 
like he's he's turned into this boogeyman which is weird because like like where people are saying oh andrew tate's influence is so uh pernicious he's he's influencing 12 to 14 year old boys to think that women are subhuman and and then like and i'm thinking and like this guy has been boiling under the the sub 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 surface of internet sub subculture for years now there are people who have his uh his ideas who are more mainstream than him and are also uh, more widely uh roundly um Oh, and by the uh, way, I just curb stomped uh, zero. Refuted than he is, and uh. Well, you know, it's. It's just. It's fucking a lame to see. To see people well, trying to make this guy out to be some kind of. of like. serious. threat. Serious threat on the internet because nobody took Andrew Tate seriously. Please wake up, Birdie. So, who is the guy that got arrested for child trafficking and shit? Uh, he, okay? I don't think he's been arrested for it. I think he's, he's been just accused. Yeah, he's been accused and I think he got not, like charged with uh with like assault cuz he beat somebody up because apparently people who win two MMA matches his need to uh, need to go around on measuring their dick size by Whoa. getting into fights with random fucktards. You did it! World star. Now you three can live in peace again. This guy, this guy is just generally you know, a a fucking idiot, and I wish that I wish that people would just pretend he doesn't exist, like we have for the last four or five years. Because Andrew Tate's been around for a while, you know? Well, he's not a, uh... I'm so happy. And, and, and for those of you who don't know, he is, uh... I'm going to try he's won, like, too. two MMA matches. Uh, one professional, one amateur. And is generally known for being a, uh, a dipshit on the internet. And there are, there are like, some oh, weird fanboys. There are some weird fanboys on... Twitter, but it's like it's like anything else. Nobody gives a shit about this guy in the larger mainstream, Mario. And yeah, I just finished Amy's make, his campaign. Yeah, I just started Amy's campaign because the game is fucking with me. The game is like, oh, you want to want to continue? You want to beat Knuckles? Good luck. <laughs> I keep forget. I don't even get. To, sadly, I didn't ever even get to mention the fact that um, Amy's voice actress Jennifer Dulliard is actually friends with Landy Manila, and that's kind of how she got the part of Amy. Huh. Cool. So she didn't really have much experience prior to this game. Yeah, I, I get the. I get the really distinct impression that Andrew Tate is going to blow up, kind of similarly to how. Um, to how Anita Sarkeesian blew up, up, and he's going to have exactly the same kind of, of negative impact that that woman did. And yep. Because, like, the, the Streisand effect is a thing, people. And, you know, while in Anita Sarkeesian's case, it was entirely a, a um, it was entirely a product of, of, uh, astroturfing that got her to where she was, um, Andrew Tate is is in this position where, where he's being granted undue influence, you know? He's he's just some fuckwit on the internet. If you ignore him, he'll go away. Or better yet, do what people were doing up to now. Mock him. He's not some like people are saying that he's got all this influence over teenage boys that's bleeding out into the real world and causing them him to like treat their sisters, mothers, and teachers with, with like a, a level of contempt, and are citing directly back to him. And you know, well, bye, Sonic. Um. Anyways, uh. 
they're treating him, blah blah blah. Doing a fucking I zero. Uh, no, no, I'm try I'm trying to I'm trying to get back on on it and finish up whatever I what I was trying to say. Uh, what was I trying? What was I trying to say? Oh yeah, it's, um, I've never heard of this man, and except in passing, and I am quite quite internet savvy. Granted, that I am not going to say that I keep up with every single happening on the internet, but Andrew Tate does not have the kind of influence that that like. Okay, I'm gonna give like a real life example. So. So I wound up okay. watching Thunderfoot's videos because as people kept saying that some of the things that I said sounded like Thunderfoot. So I wound up, up looking at Thunderfoot's videos and saying, oh, this guy is pretty cool. Oh, let me get, let me check him out. And this, obviously, this was before Thunderfoot lost his goddamn mind over Brexit. But, um, you yeah, know. I'm a fan of Thunderfoot. Still not a fan of him. Uh, he was... He, he was pretty fucking good back in the day, but, you know, but yeah, I he's, him, but I don't he's, uh, he was one of the pioneering members of, like, the YouTube skeptic community. He, back when the YouTube skeptic community, he was actually, like, a good thing. And, you know, before, like, half of them split off and became in BreadTube. Uh, okay. You'll have to forgive me for my language here, Gallon. I've listened to a few of their videos, and all I have to say is all of them are completely fucking stupid. We don't uh, we don't care about the word no. fuck on here. I you're, know, but I'm trying not you're to. You're wrong. I'm, I'm trying you're, not to say a word just in case I accidentally say another. I will say you are wrong, but uh, I don't take any offense at what you're saying. Because, like, like, if you want to say, okay. like, me, like these like days, that. absolutely. But, but back, back in, like, the, back in the well, golden back age, then. back in the golden yeah. age, they were, they had, had, you know, oh, there, okay, there was, the there was a good community. And now, oh, it's, you know, it's here's the gone thing. eight ways fucking stupid. The, the freaking, uh, gr the freaking... The skeptic community mainly attacked the smallest part, or the fringe part of Christianity, because I know yes, what... Yes, because the fringe part of Christianity is the thing that was really big on YouTube at the time. And there were creationists and flat earthers, there's all kinds of people all spreading absolute bullshit in online. And that was why... I, ow. That was why I, the, uh, the skeptic community blew up. It was because as they were using the uh, the technology. Uh, guess who I'm playing as now? To to be educators, or to, to introduce. This, um, Let's get this over with. Prevailing ideas uh, and creating discussion uh, as opposed to what happened. As opposed to what's been happening we recently. But Alex, I don't mean to disrupt your. Good does. negativity. Negativity is good when the people who are creating, when the people, who, when people are creating bad things. Negative critique is an important tool. Well, guys, no problem guys, I need to interject. Is a very important tool. Ahem. I am yeah. playing as Big the Cat now. Awesome. Okay. Which means there, there is one problem. Though. The man, the myth, the legend will be on full display. And it'll probably be easier if I explain it using um. I guess I'll try to explain it using Pokemon as my analogy for this one. See, there's like a nasty hate towards um one type of Pokemon. Like I don't know. Uh, oh. Uh, let's say rock, for example, Graham. And the hate for base is showing off, like, you know, bad examples of those types, like Geodude, Golem, other shit like that. Just having people say that rock types are therefore objectively bad because of... Yeah, this is... Okay, 
Jester, your argument doesn't make any sense. Like, I understand where you're going with this, this but people have always he's understood that, that like, 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 one of the, I, if we go back to, like, one of the, one of the big, um, things, there was, like, uh, the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, who'd had a, um, has a very famous talk by a professor, I can't remember what his name was, because, you know, this guy was a Christian, and then he was, like, an evolutionary a biologist, oh, I think his man. name, him is like Where Ken something, thing. and like he always... Uh, Ken Ham? <laughs> no, it wasn't Ken Ham. Um, Ken, I don't... Ken Ham. Oh, is, uh... God. Yeah, he's the Christian, he's the young earth creationist, no. Him and... I Ken Ham is the... I can't yeah. exactly say a lot of positive uh, things. Uh... No, I'm not talking about Ken Ham, I'm talking about... I thought there was this... Okay, let me... Let's see here. HHMI. Power Hughes Medical Institute. Alex. I have a... F I'm trying nice. to adjust to the fact that this fat bastard is uh, literally okay, the fastest ladder climber in this whole game. Bio-interactive films... I'm not kidding about that part, by the way. Dumb. That is dumb. Thank you to my bio-interactive. Oh, and Big also has the most upgrades out of everybody in this game. Most of them are lore power-ups. There you are. Got any... Do we have any Duke Nukem one-liners that I could say in Big's voice? What's wrong? I don't know. It's time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. It's time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of gum. <laughs> Big just picks up a fucking car. Okay, so the point is that even though all Christians are inherently somewhat dumb, um, um, they were, you know, everybody knows was that not all Christians are young Earth creationists. Yes, yeah. But then again, and all, you know, all all religious people, all, all ideological people, who are in some way inherently dumb. Yeah. Um, everybody is a little bit inherently dumb. Um, especially if they're adhering to some some stupid philosophy, you know, like that. And so, well, it was always understood that if you who were, you know, not all Christians were bad, but all Christians who made the arguments that were being, being refuted by the skeptic community on the, you know, back in the early days of the skeptic community, it was well understood that those were not, you know, whole I would say representative of all Christianity. Oh, God. What do you mean? Let's just say that because of that community, it kind of... It kind no, of, you're wrong. I'm going to flat out say you are wrong here. here because there were Christians in the skeptic community who were... And, and Christian Christians who were, like, scientists, evolutionary biologists, etc., etc. Uh, people who have, have degrees in this stuff. People who have spoken at HHMI, given presentations on... Uh, on things like that, and, you know. Oh, it's. I'm not denying that. No, I'm you are. You're directly that. denying that by saying, saying that this is. I'm trying to paint a picture to people. And you're painting a picture that isn't real, though. You know. Guys, can we move on from this debate? Because this is getting annoying. If I, because yeah, look, I, I was there. Alex, can we I move mean, on from the debate? Me. Yeah, we'll, we'll move every on. Other in the community that Jester, was... we're moving on. Were you making those arguments? I was are you to... are you a younger oh, creationist? I'm, I'm an older creationist. creationist. Okay, there's or your problem. Oh, there's for problem. fuck's we're sake. Done. We're done. Move on. I was talking right, about... Next, uh, next topic, we're done. We're not doing this. Yes. Uh,
Breaking up the fight. I didn't right. even... Jester, Alex, please. We're done. I do not wanna wanna be the I do not wanna have to be the adult today. <laughs> Let's go on something lighthearted. Uh, EA accidentally listed its $999 FIFA 23 Ultimate Edition for the equivalent of six cents on the Indian Epic Store Game Store page. A now, 99.98% discount. Now, I would go on to... Now, Ben, I would go on to do the, um, to do the ice stage, but I've got somewhere else I need to be, which is getting my gig getting my large fishing rod. There's nothing down there, so let's move on. So what does everyone think about the uh, FIFA thing? Because I think that's really funny. EA is stupid. They are. Oh, no. I hate I'm moving. Sur I'm, su I'm surprised they're honoring it, though. You would think they would force refunds, but no. Okay, so I needed to explain Big's gameplay since I didn't get the chance to do so. So, Basically Big, so this fat tub of lard er, was made specifically to sell a Dreamcast peripheral, the fishing rod, a, a controller. Take a while to guess how badly that tanked. Oh, now I'm playing whack-a-mole. Which, by the way, Alex, if you want the long hammer, you're going to have to do it again. I... It's the power rod. Okay, how do I start the game, guys? You gotta oh, jump. Go. Yeah, you gotta yeah. jump. And you know... And you know, John St. John hates playing this character. He hates having to go into the recording booth and voice this idiot. And I'm sure he was thankful when... And he no longer had to after contracts switched to four kids. But you know who does have to voice Big the Cat at, at, if he makes another appearance? John St. John. John, John. He's Duke Nukem. No. Yep. Anyway, as I was he, saying... There's a thing. I, I have actually met him and he told the story about this happened. So, he was at Sega doing an audition for a Sonic character, right? And they wanted him to play Big. He wasn't even... They weren't even sure what voice he could do, so he, uh, during the audition, he got frustrated, so he did this filthy voice, like, yes, that's exactly what we want. He's like, no! The train headed for station yeah. and, will be and the thing is, and anyway, Ben, you know who currently has to play Big, Big if he makes another appearance again? He's muted. Who's muted? Oh, Ben's oh, now. He's right. Someone's out of my door. Um, so, yeah, so he did a jokey voice that was mocking them and they loved it. And he regret making that voice. Yeah. You get the warrior feather. I got the warrior feather. It does nothing other than giving you a spinning attack. I, which does I also does nothing. John St. John doing both voices. I need to find it later. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> so... Let's, uh, oh, the life belt. I have to bring up something. You're in water. So, um, you know that, uh, the jump button when afloat. that lost, that lost, um, Sailor Moon what? live action show by Savan? I don't oh. know they had a live action. Gizmo uh, says he, so there, it, Gizmo says, claims he can't and join in. Huh. Uh, let me scroll up here, here, because we were talking about this in another server. Um. Oh yeah, the Uncle Grandpa picture I posted. Do, uh, do you guys think it's real or fake? Hmm. What I don't. Post? I can't see it. It's in broadcast chat. Broadcast chat. Give me a sec. I'm. What's in the broadcast chat? That Uncle Grandpa picture with the. Um, oh yeah, it, it was uh, it was made by the Uncle Grandpa's creator during the purge. Damn it! Damn it! You had to ruin the fun. I I why I thought you were asking a serious question. I said, do you think it's real or fake? 
Uh, yeah, I thought that was a serious question. Yeah, but I want everyone to answer it. Um. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, also, I want to apologize to Alan. I didn't want to try to start a fight, but I did personally experience some toxicity that, um, let's just say that was, I've seen some abusive language thrown my way. Like what? Well, let's just say that when I tried to discuss with somebody, they act, discuss with somebody Daddy, logically, they acted yeah, like yeah, a fucking, yeah. um, they acted like a belligerent fucking evangelical. <laughs> Evangelist? That's, that's funny. They please, please, please. please. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, let, me, let me get one last word in before we go. Oh, please pronounce it. You have to pronounce it in the original Japanese. It's evangelical. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. They acted like uh, a <laughs> Oh my okay, next god. topic. I'm going to the next topic. Okay. Uh, what's the next topic? Um, oh yeah, Embracer um, Group. No, the I have to... Okay, so, okay, we'll talk about the Embracer Group, and then we'll talk about live-action Sailor Moon. Oh god, that one, yeah. Why was live-action Sailor Moon uh, trending? Uh, just, we'll get uh, to that later. We'll get to that after Embracer. Yeah, so oh, the Embracer there's Froggy. Group has been buying a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff lately. Uh, so the, uh, they're like, the they're like me after I sold a bunch of stuff on eBay. <laughs> so I immediately go back to eBay to buy a bunch of stuff. So um, they, um, the Embracer Group buying. has bought Limited Run Games, uh, Sting Trick, um, the or IP rights to both Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit by... Well, they've they also bought no all of Middle-Earth Inc. as well. Yep, um, they also acquired Tuxedo Labs, Tripwire Interactive, um, what else? They announced an the operation, that's all I want. Um, uh, that's, uh, there's also one, uh, other acquisitions in Green. Come on! And there's one other Come on, you stupid frog. They announced they did, but they haven't announced the details as to what the company is. Outside of the fact that out of the list is the third or fourth highest buyout. So it's under Lord of the Rings somewhere. So yeah, I apologize, Gal. I was just um, talking about my uh, personal experience with the community. Anyways, um, yeah, so Embracer Group also, they're also the guys who uh, own THQ Nordic, I believe. And they're making a lot of aggressive hey, Alex. purchases. Hey, Alex, can you yeah. help out Gizmo? Oh, because um, he's saying Not that it's restricted. Bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, I changed the rules on who could enter the, um, the, the voice chat, and I guess I forgot to, to At fix his... Um, fix it. Yeah, to um, fix it so that he could enter. Fix it so he can. Oh, yeah, because he's... Uh, to, to make things clear, Embracer Group is basically the new THQ. I mean, they yeah. own them, but that's basically the name they go by when it comes to gaming stuff. So. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh. Can I give him Cero Espada? No. Uh, I have to... Oh. Uh, it, it, Basically, I think it, I can do it. Uh, Jester, you're. An, I don't know if you're an admin. Let's see here. It says Rawls, Espada, Zero Espada. Give me it. Oh, it doesn't look like I can give him that. Oh well. I want again, Gallon. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't want to cause a fuss. Uh, I, ha 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 ha! There we go. I feel like an asshole. I wasn't your trying. Channel. To connect. Done. He's speak. talking to you. I no. I I I hear. Um. No, I understand. And I was like, yeah. I, that's cool. I'm I'm just trying to oh make it so that uh, Gizmo <laughs> can enter dick. for the chat now. <laughs> oh, sorry. And I'm trying to, I was trying to get it done as fast as possible because I was in the middle of this race. 
Yeah, I know. I also had a quote that um I also had a quote from a book that I that I thought about actually as well. It's um fuck, I forgot exactly how exactly how it went. But paraphrasing, it basically says that everyone believes that it's something that sounds ridiculous no matter what. And honestly, that that Yes, kinda... for instance, I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the that rhythm of the day. car. You get what I mean, though, right? Yeah. Um, oh, ta speaking of... Well, that was weird. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing to me, game? <laughs> oh, God, it's been so long. This is uh this is kind of interesting. So when I came to a limited run. Limited run was a surprising buyout. But apparently according to Douglas, co founder of Limited Run, the reason it happened was because of a tweet he made on September 19, 2018 that said, Hey GHQ, if you're buying up companies oh. and franchises, buy up Gizmo's in. seriously though, congrats on all the IPs and I hope you do them justice. And that's when the talks began apparently. Sorry about the hat. Here's... Sorry about hey, the hassle, here's... Gizmo. You're fine, yeah, man. We'll, we'll have to make like a regular guests roll or something. So that we don't have just like random members of the server joining in. Yeah. In the, uh, streams. Yeah. And maybe. Maybe we should make a uh, like a green room channel or something so that we can have have like uh, other server members come in. Oh, by the way, Gizmo, yeah. I'm. Um, so. I, done. You have to kind of monitor that stuff because I know a streamer friend who used to do that. No longer does it because some people like to abuse that. Yeah. So well, we, we're not. From, uh, well, thankfully we're not popular enough for that to be a big worry yeah. at the moment. So. And by the way, guys. Uh, uh, ben, the picture of Uncle Grandpa uh, about to kill himself. It was basically made when one of the artists' uh, crew members discovered that their show is basically being screwed by the network. Yeah, pretty much. It wasn't by, uh, the, uh, the end. Uh, I thought it was, never mind. So, um, um, what does everyone think about, uh, Embracer, the buyout and such? Man, I don't yeah. really know. I'm, I'm, like, on the yeah. one hand, like, fuck limited run games. They're kind of stupid sometimes. But on the other hand, and I'm like, like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, these guys... I thought Lord of the Rings was one of the most profitable things that Warner Brothers owned, and they just sold all of it. Yeah, like, games, movies, the Brothers, books, all of it. I thought, I, was that Warner Brothers that sold Yeah, it Warner all? Brothers. It had to be That's Warner cool. Brothers, because Warner Brothers are the ones, ones who owned it up till now. Why Why did they sell it? I, well, I don't Lord know, but then again, and, like, somehow Amazon picked up the fucking rights, so... Maybe, okay... Uh, uh, weird coincidence, but a few days beforehand in Multiverse's uh, data mine, all references to Lord of the Rings were removed. And this is a month after uh, uh, the villain of Lord of the Rings was seen in the water. Well, what's yeah, his name? Sauron. Sauron. So, so, a few days after that, the buyout was announced. So, uh, yeah, the, all of that content might have been scrapped, and that tease might have been all for nothing. Oh, Gizmo, yeah, I'm currently kind of playing as big. Embarrassing. Like, imagine, imagine hyping up the Lord of the Rings content only for it to be all canceled because Warner Brothers sold it off. Oosh. They got blue balls. Yeah. Not Lucario's maybe blue balls. Maybe, maybe they have a contract old, in place old, to old, keep old, this old, stuff old, in the game, old, but old, I didn't it. I mean, Multiverses is kind of dead anyway, so... We better, better go out and... And uh, grab those Lord of the Rings games while you can, people. Because those could very I'm, well be going offline. I gotta yeah. say about, uh, about the Lord of the Rings, uh, about multiverses being dead, it's not really fair to say considering, you know, it's I still mean, I, new. I, I'm talking about that because they pretty much divided the fan base into a jillion pieces after what they did with the modding scene. 
Yeah, it's that's kind of... Well, again, time. they just started. I think they'll, they'll be a little more lax once they re actually uh, release. I don't know, man. Yeah. We're assuming that Warner Brothers is like a confident company. Yeah, WB yeah, is not uh, known for... Yeah, uh, WB is not known for smart decisions. Yeah, I have general no faith in multiverses. This one's someone who's excited for it, so... It's Fuck still it. a new game, so you, you gotta wait until they're a little more lax on the mods. And That's because something uh, they're, they're not going to do. I'm telling you right now, they're not going to do. No. The reason they're not going to be is because if the game relies on microtransactions and costumes, then if you have like three alternatives, they're not gonna fucking stand for that. They're gonna just yeah. that Oh, there's out. Froggy. Here's the way, think, of it, uh, think about it like this. True, think about it like this, though. It's one thing if they're trying to like slow down the mods on characters they already own, as well as properties they already own. I think it would be, are, it's another thing if they're gonna do it on stuff they don't own. Right? Like, oh, even they've if, done that. Yeah, they've done that too. Well, I think it's like this though. It's one thing. It's understandable if they're trying to like get rid of mods on stuff they already own, like say uh, more Scooby Doo yeah. stuff, more Lord of the Rings stuff, like, that kind of thing. But in the future, in the future though, I'm sure. But here's the thing though. In the future, for all we know, they're gonna do something about that, whether it be costumes, playable characters, stuff like that. When it comes to stuff they don't own though, they're probably gonna be a little more lax on that Not until in, up until they buy it. I yeah, because, um, like, like for example, I, like, like, let me, let me go ahead yoink. and say here. Okay, let me go ahead and interject here. Let, let me go ahead and interject here. So I get uh -oh. what both of you guys are saying. Thing like Ben is saying that he probably, he no. thinks that they're probably oh, not going to do it. And Gizmo, back, I think, please. is saying that, uh, uh they're, back. they might allow back stuff that they don't please. own. So, like, if, if they don't have plans for a costume in the game, or if they don't have a costume in the game, and they're I've probably not going to say anything about it. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't think the game is necessarily going to last long enough for either of those those to really come to fruition. And so I think ultimately Ben is going to be right, but uh, like fan support for the game is going to probably last on a little bit after, or if the gameplay winds up being good. If the gameplay is good, people will mod it forever like they did with Brawl, like they did with Melee, et cetera, et cetera, you know? That, that, I will say, I, I do want to make a prediction. If the game one day dies, fans are going to resurrect it. So, whether Wonder Brothers likes it or not, it's going to happen yeah. eventually. It was really neat when uh, Nintendo brought in the Mii characters for Smash. Yeah. Because now you can be, Remember now you can customize that, fucking anything. Remember when they had Reggie and Iwata fight to the death? I love that. Those two were, those two were the best. And I mean, uh, rest in peace, Sataro Iwata. Yup, rest in peace. Reg Reggie and Iwata were, were like the ultimate double act. Yeah, they really, I miss them. They were like a special part of Nintendo now. Do, 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 do. Okay, so yeah. now let's talk about the Saban Sailor Moon. What? Oh, God. <laughs> um, AKA Saban Moon. So the pilot episode, the pilot episode of the Sailor Moon TV show that was going to be produced by a Savant Entertainment, and that had like a live action component, and then when they did the transformation sequence, it would turn into a cartoon. The, the first, there were only two episodes made. Those two episodes have been found by somebody named Ray Mona. Apparently, they contacted the uh, the original. You know the people at Savon, and they managed to get a um, a copy. And they're like, like, oh, the pilot episode has been been posted to the channel, and a link to the Internet Archives that its original codec can be found in the description box. And then um, at uh, Marty McFlies at M McFlies on Twitter, or says, hey guys, this user worked hard to save this from being lost and archived it. User watermarks the Internet Archive version. So much for archiving, and I have to say, yeah, hey, you're you're a fucking idiot for putting your goddamn watermark on this damn uh, on this damn video. Oh, it's not even yours. And uh, like I said, and you know, stick your handle in the file name and call it a day. That's what you that's what you do with stuff like this. Like you're not we're not here here to uh, to watch your fucking name throughout this this thing. And we're here for 
for the the content. And yeah. People don't put watermarks bad. on the fucking content. Not even in TV Nihon puts yeah. their watermark in the fucking content. I mean, pirate sites ha and have put their watermark on on very on um last, on the man. show. Oh, as they have on there, but it's so innocuous that you hardly really oh. notice. Yeah, That's but strange. yeah, if if somebody had put that in the uh, in the um, yes, well, anime. like no, say say you put it in the pillar box for the video. Well, because it's a four by three video presented in uh, in widescreen, and it would have made sense. Since, but uh, you know, oh, the tales of the lost, the tales of the lost, um watermark wow. is present throughout the entire video is it all right for me and it's here? it's obtrusive and it it gets worse so why is big the cat worse. being shown major That's events so and that are relevant to the plot events. and ray mona creator of this show created this docuseries is apparently people in the uh -huh. film industry have eyes on saban moon in the dock <gasps> And that's why the watermark is there. It's for clout. And uh, a friend of mine Could said that I tried to watch the, the original Silver documentary, Zone. but um, it's unified by one it's like 20 minutes controller. of info stretched out to more than two hours. It's like the pilot is the buried in, in like a four hour for documentary that nobody wants to fucking watch. Chaos? Like, I think Redboard already did a decent enough documentary on it. It, it was like 20 minutes long. Granted, Red Bard is also a fucking idiot, but she at least usually keeps it out of her videos, except Froggy? when she's shilling for the shitty, shitty, like shitty House of Fata place. Morgana uh, translation. Oh, God. It's something happens now. And now, um, no my more information. More information about the Saban Moon. Um, um, the people we behind Tales of the Lost buddy. were provided with a ProRes HQ from the people who had it, it but um, all versions were encoded to lossy MPEG-2 with a 422 to 420 conversion. So yeah, this archival effort is goddamn garbage. MPEG-2 is a video codec from the mid to late 90s. It's the same codec as DVD, same codec as a lot of early Blu-rays. Don't use it. We have better codecs. For fuck's sake. You could have used lossless compression on on like this the sub 20 minutes of standard definition video you used. Oh! Oh, this is from the Library of Congress. Well fuck you! Holy shit! What? What? I didn't what? know that this is um God. Oh man. And okay, so the Tales of the Lost people acquired the video materials from the fucking library of congress so Ow. i see you're trying to escape so this means that right on time. apparently chaos. like anybody Grab can him. can just go ahead wrong. and do that and don't forget the chaos Emperor. yeah okay so oh, huh. um if any of us if any of us like contact them um we could get a hold of this and make a better Make a higher quality copy. You should do that, then. Imagine yeah, I, I probably should. I'm currently in the process. Right like I'm currently in the process of like six other things. One thing I'm doing for you, do a couple of commission right. projects, no, and wrong. and my own little the archival project, and working on a movie. So, Once you, get your tail, you know, I'm I'm desperately trying you. not to not to explode from being stretched this thin, but. Uh, I feel like so, we're glossing over one other detail, which is the fact that I'm almost done with Big. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm almost done with Amy. Yeah, I glossed over what I was about to say uh, involving the multiverse thing. By the way, Alex, oh, if God. you want it. By the way, Alex, you got to go to the Angel Island section of the flashback, and then, and that's where, where you where you need to go. You just gotta I was go. Gonna say that gotta go. Even if the game, Froggy? you know, is good, you know, multiverse and all that, that doesn't mean Valley. it's gonna last. So he's your because friend, eh? there's been many games no that, sweat. you know, 
have I'll like really back. great quality and well are just doesn't have that fucking attention like Careful, every other game. Froggy. Don't worry, we'll get you back. Like, but I this is a free-to-play fighting game. That's com this is the first time we've seen anything like this that wasn't Killer Instinct. And that game is still getting supported, the not by the company, but more. by the fan base. Yeah, but Killer Instinct already had like a uh, established brand. So. And Killer True. Instinct also, like the microtransactions in that, also wound up being, being like the same price as a full game. Okay, I'm done with Big. Oh wow, you're gonna be done with the game way sooner than I am. Like his Chaos Six fight is the is the easiest. He just gotta Hooray! cast your lore or or inside of his mouth and pull Froggy out. That's it. Big. Or Knuckles. Well, consider the fact that Big's objective was rescuing Froggy, not defeating the giant monster. I mean, he technically did defeat the giant monster. Not really, no. I love how as the game goes on, we're just retconning more of Sonic's friends in the final battle. We're doing it in the process of playing the game, though, so that's a little bit odd. Anyways, um... What the fuck was with that animation? Oh. Okay, apparently I'm just fucking stupid. It is that? Uh, no, it's not what I... Did you okay. guys already talk about the, uh, the Vic Mignogna appeal rejection? We're, we're, we're gonna work on that later. Yeah, we're this getting is... we're getting to it. Okay. Where the hell do I... I know we're just... where I need to go, but where do I need to go? Oh, you just exit part the part door. Part you just go through the door, Alex. Oh, I gotta go to the... Okay, there we go. I just remembered a very, uh, another thing involving the news, uh, this week. Oh. Um, uh, Keppels is trying to sue Kiwi Farm. Well, let's, let me, let me finish up with the, uh, the, um, Savon Moon thing. Thank you, the, from at the Raymona on Twitter. Thank you. This was a very lengthy and expensive process. When you gain access to Library of Congress records, you're essentially acquiring ownership of copies and get written permission to buy a copy for media use, and seeing people angry at the watermark is sad. It's kind of like an extreme nitpicking to the point of being miserable. The pilot has been shown finally, so I'm not going to worry about that small percentage of people that can't be satisfied with anything. Thanks for your support. You know what? Fuck you. When I bought... I've gone to I've gone to fucking lengths to get shit that people thought was lost media myself. Oh, I'm responsible for Common Rider Dragon Knight by not being in shitty 240p um fucking thing uh TV rips from the CW <laughs> nowadays. Hey, <laughs> that was me. I paid the money to buy those fucking DVDs. <laughs> And you know what I did? I released high quality, the uncompressed rips of the fucking DVDs. It's just so that nobody could bitch about the quality he liked this. Because I didn't want to be responsible for fucking up the only known preserved copy of something. Because I had, I knew that there was a level of responsibility when handling lost media. Go fuck yourself. And I know the exact pain of dealing with wanting to watch something in high definition of lost media. Like yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Season Zero. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero. We, somebody needs to put together like a Kickstarter so that somebody can buy high quality versions of those VHS tapes. Yeah. Scrap the people to get high quality of them. Just go like... Start typing up the pro game words repeatedly. Until I'm they still disco. waiting. I'm still waiting for Disco Tech to finally give us a release date that's for the not, Digimon Blu-rays. That's not very pro gamer of you, man. I don't care what the chaos. That's not very gamer of you. Dude, <laughs> I'm the chaos jester. I want to have a laugh. 
sorry, but laps are illegal at this stage. How do I get there? Hey, Alex. Oh. You know what I sometimes am reminded of whenever I see Johnny Gioelli's his credit in these? Can't hold no, on no, not that. Longer. Not that. Oh, it's um, it's the whoa bit in um, in Son in Sonic and the Black Knight. Oh, I love that game, and I love that song. Waggle Fest. No, 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 no. What's more painful is Sonic and the Secret Rings because there's, because there's a mechanic in the final boss fight where you have to wiggle the little re Wii remote while holding it sideways, and it hurts your fucking wrists. And also the fact that the singer in that, the the guy who sang that song, either can't sing or isn't singing it right. I think the guy's name is Steve Conte. A who Steve also uh, who also Steve he's not a bad singer. He's done that... He's actually done um he's actually done work on Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, okay, so the best the best example of like like Okay, so you sh if you haven't listened to uh, the Crush 40 version of that song and you'll you'll basically hear how it was supposed to sound. Because uh, Johnny, he has some some variation over the monotone bullshit that is the main version of that song. Well, I'm done with Big the Cat, so now it's time for the robot. So we're finally out of the bad part of the game and back into the good part. Which is literally anybody else but Big the fucking Cat. Sega. You know how the runaway guys ended up redeeming Big the Cat? Uh, did they give him him like the 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 most smartest voice of all time? No, they just made him funny. Uh, okay. So, oh yeah, and instead of just posting the Internet Archive link, Raymona also. Oh, um, this guy is like the fucking nemesis. Hold on a second. Zero. You and you and Nemesis need to go hang out. They'll have you spouting on about stars eventually. Uh, I get a... Something's wrong with my controller. It's not responding. In, in the, um... Well, Saban has to, has to think about all this, considering, you know, he's still... He's still alive. Uh, Haim Saban is... responsible for Power Rangers being in the sorry state it is today, so... True, but I, he, if it wasn't for him, the Power Rangers would have been a thing. Like I him. understand that, but like, it, like at a certain point in time, I'm like his involvement is now redundant, you know. And Nickelodeon didn't help that fucking show. Let's make it worse. Let's make the entire. Let's make a thing that's, you know, best best suited to be like 35 episodes long only 22 episodes a season yeah that's definitely going to work and it's, but savan also had the worst reaction to that it's like oh instead of instead of uh hold on a sec so instead of like cutting each series down to 22 episodes we're just gonna you know um make a bunch of filler episodes and uh it, get it didn't villains yeah. for the shitty ninja remake like, they could have done go fuck yourselves guys as you can't um they stop done something with the train thing i mean like i get it like here's the thing about the why is amy why are amy's jumps so low 
the thing of that m people don't know about the why. Okay, so um, the... I was having oh, my, the USB was acting all sorts of um, funky. I'm pushing the button and nothing's occurring. Last what I wanted to say was like what people don't know or either that or care about the the Power Rangers. Uh... Ah, shit! It, Hold it, on, it I got a um... second there. I gotta reboot the game because the, the audio decided to crap out on me again. There we fucking go. Oh, yeah, I remember. So, what I was gonna say was, was what people either don't care or don't know about uh, the Power Rangers that train one, uh, whatever that was, uh, what was it it was called? Uh, Russia uh, Sensei Tokyo. Tokyo, okay. So, uh, what they don't know about the Tokyo one is that. While cars are more are popular here in the U.S., what with stuff like Hot Wheels, NASCAR, and 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 uh, stuff like oh, what was it, the uh, uh, Fast and Furious? You know that is, well, over there in Japan, trains are actually popular. So if anything, the reason one of the reasons why they couldn't really uh, translate Tokyo over here in the U in the states is because of the cultural differences. When it came uh, to like the popularity, because let's face it, trains like over here. When it comes to anything in media, the only thing we could ever think up of is, let's say, Polar Express, Thomas the Tank Engine, and maybe some scenes involving a subway station. There was also and, that um, that excellent Crazy Eight movie system. with um. I think it was Chris Pine and uh, Unstoppable is what it was called. Hold on, Unstoppable yeah. with uh, Chris Pine and Denzel Washington. I think I'm right in saying. But who's gonna remember that? I'm your well, I did, but that's Dr. you did. Okay, yeah, all right. All right. That's someone remembers because I watched that movie. Machines. So. But it's the fact that someone has to actually remember that one specific movie. If that's the thing. While, while over there, there's probably like what. The yeah, there was uh, Under Siege Gamma. 2, Dark Territory. Oh, by the way, um... Box about. That's right. Okay, I gotta interject for a bit. Only. Alex, you'll never guess who voices Gamma in Japanese. Who is it? It's a certain fuck-mothering vampire. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Joji oh. Nakata. Your big brother, what? E101. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Japanese voice of Alucard. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that is. That's who voices Gamma. You're not as advanced as Beta is. And like doing to me, game. By the way, Gizmo, the, oh, what Alex is referring to has happened a lot to him. What? The game just fucking with him. <laughs> yeah, because like the camera got stuck inside something. By the way, um, Gamma's gameplay is something that'll carry over into Sonic Adventure 2. You move around, hold hold the hold the action button, and and let it go to shoot. And the more targets you get in in succession, the more or time you'll you'll get. In this mission, we gotta shoot. We gotta shoot the Sonic doll. So, uh, y'all wanna move to the next mission topic? Mission complete. Yeah, sure. I was gonna say we have like an hour or more left, okay. so we should probably start going through. I'm trying to figure right. out where the fuck the Ben. All right. Um, next topic. Um, uh, Dragon Ball has decided to give the most racist character in Dragon Ball. The N-word pass. Yeah, Frieza has garnered a new form. Black Frieza! Oh, the Good jokes job, I could Gamma. make! I didn't think you had what it takes! Yeah, he has the N-word pass now. Most, he's, he's know, gonna, most racist no, 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 no. In, in, in Dragon Ball, Ball it's the M-word pass. Monkey. Yeah. It, pass it, no, it's, uh, it's the S-word pass. Say. Only Saiyans can use that word. <laughs> Who's the monkey? You're the monkey. The almighty egg carrier 
it's so, yeah. it, it's so funny. I, I do want to say that chapter Come was great. Beta. Frieza just showed up, killed two of the main villains of the arc, and then left. Yeah, but how many times are we gonna see Frieza? Well, let's go. Um, well, that's and mostly be. Like, let's just like Cell attempts to like. Uh, Cell was in the new Dragon Ball Super movie. Let me interject. So, um. The uh, current uh, artist for Super is taking a month-long break to prepare for the next start. And this leads me to believe that this next arc is going to be what was uh, teased in Super Broly. Yeah, for those that don't know, uh, the end of Super Broly teased is an arc to Goku, Broly, and Frieza, specifically. So there's going to be some kind of big conflict, Mission especially complete. with Frieza. And this arc seemingly slowly leads into that. And this will be an arc that will be specifically, I think, made by Toriyama with uh, some of Toritaro's writing. So it's going oh. to be interesting oh, oh, oh. to say the you least. You surprised me, Gabba. I had a funny feeling there was more I'm to excited. you than meets I'm, the eye. I'm quite I curious. I, I do Gamma like how the chapter ends with Frieza being the, the strongest carrier. of Universe 7 mortal-wise. So you want that, to that come shit was along badass. with us, eh? Watson kills two of the main villains and leaves. Okay, okay. He refuses to elaborate. Yeah, he refuses to elaborate. You have special predictions. Also, he BTFO'd Goku and Vegeta in one hit. Of course like, he did. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't even kill him. He's just, he's just dunking on him at this point. Yeah, I don't need to kill you. Fuck you guys. This time they gotta give Vegeta the win. There's so many times Goku's already, you know, given already already there's like also, There's also Broly. The he, they haven't used him at all outside of like superhero. And that was like minor stuff. That was like a cameo. That was more or less acknowledging uh -huh. that they do still Testing. exist. One, two, three. <clears throat> Man, I haven't yeah. seen that movie. The Elite Carrier crew. Uh, yeah, I liked it. It was very good. Super Broly was. Is. Super Broly is objectively the best Dragon Ball movie. Yeah, yeah. Broly, you guys will move to the big suit uh, reveal. Yeah. Yeah, let's get on with it. Look how they massacred my boy. So. Oh, on Thursday, a the the appeal court. Or it finally ended up coming to a verdict, and unfortunately, they denied fix appeal. For uh, two reasons, um, again, being a public figure and the quote-unquote lack of evidence of defamation, oh even though they God. refused to let him introduce his own evidence. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fucking the weird stupid. Part. That's the, that's the really weird part because it's like the judge, Judge Chup had to have been smoking something that wasn't given to him by, by a friendly neighborhood turtle all that day. Hey, I think he had to be he had to be on, on some of the harder stuff. From what and... I can tell, the issue was that it, the document evidence was a day late, which is well, that's, stupid. See, that's the thing. Okay, the Texas... <laughs> the Texas document submission system was down that day. Everything yeah. was late. Yeah. Like, everybody knows that, too. And yet, and yet, lol Twitter is like, like, oh, it's like, oh, Ty Beard is so unprofessional. I will say, Ty did a great job of, um, you know, of equal parts taking his lumps and pointing out uh, what what the actual problems were with, like, like the stuff the judge did, the stuff that's problems with the argumentation and things like that. So, um, you know, props to him and Nick Ricada. They weren't trying to run interference on it. And they, they, like, Nick cop, Nick pointed out everything thing that Ty did wrong and Ty copped all of it. But they, you know, um, Ty also brought up, up that, like, look, we had, we had problems, usually problems are, usually problems like this are allowed to be solved. We were not allowed to solve them, you know? That's stupid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, the, I really the think next that's question the... is, will... The next question is this. Will they appeal and take oh, it to the... Oh, train station and Mystic Ruins. Or will they just cut their losses? I got something to say about that. On the ladder. I've actually talked about this in private with a couple of other guys outside of other groups, and 
I think he, I think uh, Vic is going to appeal. It's either he's going to appeal or again, or he's going to take it to the Supreme Court, but it's not a matter of if. It's only I when? Know. Yeah, Ty it's, is already filing. Ty is already working on on getting his motion to reconsider for work done because, like, people saying that he violated the Rule 11 agreement, he wrote that Shit. Rule 11 agreement. Yeah, he knows everything that went into that, that he... I'm not saying that people aren't going to violate the contracts they signed, but Ty knows what went into that, and he's going to... He's got the authority to argue that, look, look, I did not violate the Rule 11 agreement by bringing in this stuff of, with the Second Amended Petition. And the first, and Ty said, you know, yeah, the First Amended Petition then had a bunch, and, you know, the original response had some problems, First Amended Petition, and fixed those, those, but a bunch of other, you know, it had some errors that a bunch of other Texas attorneys have have also had in their documents around the time because guess what texas law as to what can be notarized is I'm vague I like, see. Must like they them, huh? there is not explicit enough text in the in the word of the law Did to say that the it's these children? you know that you can't He's notarize over the phone it was teacher. like something thing that happened later where these they had to clarify it and so if you're just looking at the original text of the law it's kind of weird so people have had that problem they replaced them with the unsworn declarations and guess what chump said he was going to consider the affidavits anyway of course did it because chump was smoking like 12 kinds of crack that day and another thing people say like people say like oh it's oh it's legal Ben. Anyway, and now people are saying like, oh, now it's legal to call Vic a sex pest. I'm like, have you, no, have, have the, no, it doesn't. Even I know that, and I don't have a law degree. And here's the thing. Uh, no, hey, I will say you that have to take Vic to court, prove him guilty beyond a shadow of a fucking doubt, and then, only then, can you legally call him that? Yeah, okay, so I guess we should ah, dummy, go dummy, back dummy, and summarize dummy. before we you know, start analyzing it, before we keep he analyzing. So for those of you who don't know, Q says, mm, crack. Has also swallowed a chaos so for those of you who don't know, oh, the, the Minyana appeal went, you know, ah. came back, um, ah. you know, there oh, there were seven, right all 17 you know, points of appeal were rejected. It, and um you'd be of use to me you know so they all you worthless hunks of junk they uh they sent it back to chup on the uh on the subject of the fees and you there um this one's so back on back on the main point of what we were talking about once there, the uh, the, girl and the, the thing that happened was that it, one that one thing that happened and now that I thought was no. really strange was that in the decision, uh, for the court of appeals, was they, they basically said that calling somebody a sex offender is, is not one? um, is not a prima prima facie defamation. That's it's stupid. Like, yeah, it's somehow uh. It's somehow a matter of opinion. What? Yeah, so, like, like this precedent basically says you can go down the street in, in Texas and say that anybody is a sex offender now. Also, like, I... I, I, I guess, I guess I they didn't... Uh, I guess they didn't bother uh, thinking too hard about the, um... By their definition, I could call a baby a pedophile if I wanted to, or a sex yeah, offender. Yeah, basically. By that definition. Oh, and also Gamma stumbles into this room a somehow. <sighs> I swear. Yeah, yeah. And of course the harpy and of course the harpies on Kick Vic are like, like, oh, we it's won, it's over, blah blah no. blah. Even, and yeah, that, I don't get that either. It's just okay, like, it ain't no, over until the fat lady sings. It ain't over until they yeah. until they actually prove Vic guilty beyond a shadow of a doubt. 
And Monica. I've seen, I've seen more Kick Vic members angry about it than happy. Like, they know it's not a win, but they want it to be so bad. And yeah. not only that, and not only that, it's so like. Neither, but neither did you, so ha ha. And not only that, and it's oh, like. Fuck. And not only that, and it's like. Vic, at the very least, has stuff going on now. Oh, yeah, he doesn't. He has his own dubbing studio. He's doing dubs yeah, and whatnot. His career is pretty much back in full force. No way! This well, it's not, it's not the, it's the, the full, it's like, Minyata dubbing studio. It is the Anime Matsuri dubbing studio. Yeah. But, you know, that is. He's the. He's the director. He's the he's the head guy yes. right now. So, oh, I, you know that's good enough. That's basically what he was supposed to have had at Funimation already. But so, no, they, they didn't want to play ball. I, I was debating some with people about it. They're like, oh, if they just own the distribution rights and like they own the okay. <laughs> They have the they have the theatrical rights i think how, how, well, how the hell else were they showing this stuff at the fucking con yeah they had to have gotten the music and effects track somehow and and of course and of course the report the account known for massive amounts of targeted harassment and reports finally a went Unprivate and is now out sent sicking people onto others, much like Arms Girl. Yeah. Also, Hence why I had to go I private. Get going. Speaking of, uh, of Kick Vic, Emmett, huh? remember Emmett? Yeah, the, the plant. Vic, but essentially assault someone and did oh, Emmett, in it. Emmett Initiative? Emmett Plant? Yeah. Yep. Um, Why are you been, quote, unquote, officially exposed as sex pest, and he admitted to it. <laughs> of course, he fucking did. Pet sent me the uh, link where he admitted right. it, but it's like, be oh, I've been calling him that for fucking years. years. So you're not like it's those so, other it's robots. So huh? funny. You uh, truly are a good person inside, aren't you? Said, I guess we can be friends yeah. then. Take care, okay? Well, I'm called the kettle what now? Black. It, it's a common in saying. It's not a racist thing. I know. I know. Uh, I know. Not black. I'm like... Blick. Blick. Not, not black. Blick. <laughs> Blick. Blick. Not black. Blick. Like a lethal freak. This man is in black. <laughs> I fucking love that bit in the dub of Super. Hold your fire. This man is not black. <laughs> Eric Vale, as 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 terrible a human being as Eric Vale is, that was fucking amazing. Hold your fire. This man is in black. He's white. Wait, what? He's a or Asian or whatever they are. They're taking things too literally or not literally saying? enough. No, I was referencing a um, TFS Dragon Ball <laughs> Super bit. Saiyan, thank you very much. Hey, Rest in peace, I, Motomo, the jet Motomo Kiyokawa. And hold the jump button yeah. and your uh, the original, go, the original uh, Japanese uh, voice of Fuyutsuki. Did he at least do all the rebuild movies before dying? I believe so. The next, the next yeah. topic is what you had in the web tools making an animation division. So I'll be right back. You guys Report talk to the about that. Uh, I want that. I expect to see the worst right. shitty fucking fan. And you know. You point out sex offender is a legal term, though. Yeah, I know. That's why. That's why Ty was arguing that this is a. This is a thing. This is a, you know, le the legal definition of defamation, and it's. I'm surprised Legal Eagle hasn't actually tackled this. Legal Eagle is a fucking idiot. Legal Eagle, well, has kind of tackled this because he's How can friends with you, the Robot idiots Man. over at Law Twitter, and you know he's but just as fucking dumb as the rest messes. of them. Give them all you got. I, I heard so. that uh, legal legal, legal also uh, has like a high value set that he doesn't actually use the books from, you know. Oof. I heard that legal legal's uh, legal, yeah, whatever. 
I heard that he's a far leftist. He is. Oh, no. Kind of. Now, you know... Oh, no. This, uh... Oh, no. Like, the oh, first no. time I heard this song... I was like... I was like, all I heard was... So cute I had to shave it. <laughs> and, and I was like, oh, <laughs> damn. Uh, Phrasing. Mm. Right. Yeah, like what? Hey, Mr. Robot. I know you're not an evil sort. <laughs> Wait, remember me? I mean, I support that. If it's that cute, you gotta shave it. Yeah. You do realize <laughs> you're talking game. about not only a 12 year old girl, but also. Oh, implying Amy. Eyeing sexual relations oh, really with at that twelve-year-old girl, yeah. which, by yeah, the I'm way, seven. when I when I was twelve the years old, and my hair like that. I mean, I Sonic, I feel look, I feel self-conscious about her age. Yeah, but the first time I heard this, I like I had to do a go. double take, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, by the way, so Alex, you had to shave it. Oh, by the way, Alex, you have. What the? Game, what are you doing to me? Game, what are you doing to me right now? A bunch of people are getting blocked by Raymond on Twitter right now. Oh, nap. And the game, aim, and the game fixed itself. Thanks again for saving me as usual, Sonic. Amy. The only reason Sonic had to save your ass is because you, because you literally stalk him. Why do you help? Yeah, it's kind of like. Uh, sooner or later, uh, March, uh, March, he and the other people will have to, you know, uh, go on a fast for a couple days. After I know Marky had to private her account for some reason. Um, Marky and Rial looks too fat for the fasting to. Uh, no, I'm, 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 I'm going with this. I'm just saying they have to do a fast sooner or later, because after the case, they're gonna have to eat pro anyway. <laughs> I basically predicted that this is that this is gonna end up just staying on social media because none of these people have any actual reason to pursue legal action against Vic. Because. I mean if and they did they do, but, but they're not, not really legit but here's the thing they would have done so sooner right you says viva fray greater than legal legal yes abso fucking lutely who viva fray we never yeah, heard of him no i don't i don't really go around friends. looking for youtubers that's the thing Nice uh, go check say. out Viva Frey. He's he's good. I think he's been on a couple of uh, Nick Ricada streams. By the way, um, most these people keep dunking on Nick Ricada for supposedly being wrong, and I'm like, and Nick uh, said ahead of time that you know things things didn't look you know that great. The fields are hardly ever yeah the are hardly ever going to going to work, and I feel like that's kind of a problem with the legal system you know yep and i you know i gotta say hey, people i guarantee you my, i guarantee you kick Vic would be singing a different tune if the appeals actually went through yeah well like sure. people were giving me shit for my tweet saying like look if you're unhappy with this result here's what you can do don't buy uh funchy stuff complex products new don't uh you know don't support them um try to get you know campaign to get the laws changed go you know find people yeah actually who do something texas yeah elect people who are who Here's oppose the texas blaster. citizens Partici it's participation act and it, you know campaign pattern. for it to get repealed well get the laws changed get out there and do something if you're in texas you know but they won't like, do that well they're not it's not that they're not you know people were saying oh that's stupid and like if you if you do you're not you're not actually doing anything blah 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 the fuck off that's like, that we're we're talking about like if 
if you're unhappy with this, change the things that led up to it. We're not talking about, uh, like, saying, oh, you know, we should, uh, you know, we should say, hey, make that, make, like, the fact that Vic got screwed in this the crux of the argument. And, like, this is, the fact that Vic got screwed in this, this is, is, like, only part of the argument. And, like, other people are getting screwed aside Square from him. Yep. Yeah, was, I think from what I remember, it was the voice of, uh... The original dub voice actress for Kohan got screwed. Yeah, Stephanie Nadolny got screwed over by Chris Sabat, and because oh, yeah, she didn't, she didn't want to. Texas legal system. You know, yeah. it was no, it was basically because she didn't want to play ball with Sabat anymore, or so Sabat yeah. was like, "All right, since you don't want on to have any sexual relations with my fat ass, as then your ass is no longer going to be voice acting." the fat on the ass. Yeah, Sabbat is not the healthiest That's looking fun. individual. Pick up. Amanda, now, Amanda Winley chimed in a couple of days ago. And, and she a bitch. Now that the Vic thing is over, I have to say, it always struck me as funny that no one ever, no one ever came forward and said, yes, I had sex with him. It was always, yeah, he tried, but I told his sleazy ass to piss off. Not like... You're so close! You're so close! Take the extra step! Take the red pill, Amanda! You're almost there! There's a difference between trying to and... The, the way she said it, though, it really sounds like she's still against, you know, Vicky and Yana. Like, she's a, always been against him. I get yeah. that, but it sounds like she's still weird with that comment, because let's face it, there's a difference between trying to and forcing yourself, trying to force yourself. Yeah. Like, trying to have sex with someone, it's like, it's like, buttering them up, giving them confidence, pushing them out. Yeah. You know, maybe later on, if they're really friendly to you, you could probably ask for a nightcap, that kind of thing. She's making it sound like Vic was trying to force himself onto them, what, because they gave him hugs? Only because... Because his arms were around his fans when taking pictures. Try again. You know, it's like, oh, uh, uh, I love how. By the way, I love how the uh, the story Monica told Funimation and the story she posted on Twitter are two very different things. And yet, people are like, oh, she's adding new information. No, she isn't. New information. Yep. How, how about if? You know, changed information. The hotel that didn't have fucking balconies. You know, that kind of thing. What the hotel doesn't have balconies? The hotel that they... Well, the first floor of a, of a hotel does not have balconies. No, it does not. Okay. But and of course, they're like... And of course, they're like, oh, oh, Monica probably told Stan oh. Dallin, but he conveniently forgot. I'm like... Oh. Bullshit. My tail is stuck in the elevator. If, oh, shit. Now if, I lost a bunch of hairs out of my tail. Here's the Don't thing. Why, here's the thing, lol, Don't Twitter. Ask me why my Big the er, Cat sounds like Captain Crunch? I here, can't do a better Big the Cat. Kyle A. Bear. If Kyle A. Bear er, is called in to do another Big the Cat thing, he's gonna sound stoned as fuck. Who? Kyle A. Bear. No, John Kyle. And John was the one that did Big the Cat. Yeah, but I'm talking about currently in the Studiopolis cast as Kyle A. Bear voices him. Oh. Uh, I still prefer the John St. John one. It sounds a little funnier. Uh, it, just, it just makes me just imagine uh, John St. John was a little high off his butt whenever he voices Big the Cat. That's what I like to imagine. And by the way, Alex, I am, am almost. I am now. Oh, three fifths done with um, E102 Gamma's campaign. No, I did not start this race. Ace fully confident in me winning. I did this, this race purely to see e how, purely to see how it would go, because I thought it would be kind of fun. Know what I mean? Yeah. Like. I wanted to see if this would. I wanted to see if this would be something that um, that we should consider doing in the future. 
Or, and as I've discussed with Gizmo. Oh, uh, and as I've discussed with Gizmo, I kind of expressed. Alex and I kind of expressed interest in doing Sonic Adventure 2, and guess who's never played Sonic Adventure 2? Huh. I think I was thinking your Big the Cat sounded more like Yogi Bear or Snagglepuss. Honestly, I feel like it could be either one of them. Is it them again, Yogi? You know who? You know who Doug Walker? You know who? You know who Doug Walker said had a uh, good um. You know who Doug Walker said had a good voice in the uh, live-action Yogi Bear movie? It is. Oddly it is. enough, Justin Timberlake's Eggs Boo Boo sounded more like the original than Dan Aykroyd's Yogi Bear. Yeah, Justin yeah. Timberlake is a really good actor. He is. He yes! Is surprisingly so too. He's a good actor and a good voice actor. Yeah. Not many people talk about him. I think only to, like, one I'm... Guess who was in that show? Who? Who? In that movie, rather. Tom Cavanaugh. Yep, aka a Eobard Thawne. Yeah. What was, what was the what was the fucking what was the fucking boy band Justin Timberlake was in? Um. In sync? Yeah, in sync. That fucking. Yeah. In sync was pretty cool. Yeah, in sync was the only one Red to Blue. actually have a career after in sync. Uh, well, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, O-Town, if you really remember that one. J.C. Chazez had, like, two albums, but, uh... And I, honestly, like, I feel like he kind of had the better singing voice of the two of them, um, but, like, you Alex, can't you match might wanna... Timberlake for his charisma. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, Alex, you might, you might have wanted to get out of the water due to the fact that um, Big the Cat can still drown. Yeah, like JT is the fucking crown prince of pop for a reason. Isn't one of the you gotta hold down, Alex? You gotta hold down an an X, X when you're reeling him in. Perhaps. Okay. Isn't one of the, the NSYNC carrier. members the voice of Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts? Uh, Lance or Bass. Like yes. Yeah. He was only in one game, and let's just say we're thankful that George Newbern voiced him from then on. At least until the FF7 remake, which screwed over the a compilation of FF7's cast and ended up hiring a bunch of new actors, most of which it don't even sound right. Especially Cody Christian as Cloud. Tifa, though. She's okay. I don't. I don't I ever prefer, listen to Tifa's voice. I prefer Rachel Lee Cook. I, I see, like Dilly the only Dilly voice, Dilly the Dilly only voice, voice I hear out of her is boing, 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 <laughs> boing, boing. Oh, I can't. I don't know about you guys, no, but the no, fact no, no. The no, moment no, you no, say Dilly no, Dilly, I, 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 I only hear two I'm words out of Tifa. Mamma mia. Uh. By the way, Tifa ended up. You want to know what uh, ends up? What Pro Jared ends up pointing out in his oh. um, streams of Final Fantasy VII? There's a bit where what? where Tifa and Barrett are climbing up the stairs, and I shit you not, uh, Tifa's like Tifa tells Barrett to stop being a retard. <laughs> <laughs> to which Jared's That's like, awesome. to which Jared's like, now we gotta cancel Tifa. I mean, if if the shoe fits, he might as well tell Barrett off. He was making a joke, uh, to be honest, to which, to which I'm like, yeah, Jared's obviously kidding because he's not actually going going to suggest canceling a character over that since, you know, he was a victim of cancel culture. That's nice. the canceler. You'd have to cancel her twice. Uh, three times if you count that, uh... Is that the Italian embassy incident? No, I wasn't talking about that. Oh, we discussed that. We discussed that, like... When it happened, yeah. Yeah, yeah the first time when, um... We discussed that at when Alex first streamed Kingdom Hearts 1. You know what the guy said, right? When he was streaming the, the animated porn of Tifa, right? What? Uh, the guy when the guy uh, 
started screaming that Tifa and Cloud porn. Uh, he outright shouted, I used to be sex offender, now I am high school teacher. Or was it elementary school teacher? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's got like that. I used to be sex offender, now I'm an elementary school teacher. What the hell? <laughs> As he was streaming that to the. Alex. <laughs> Alex. I didn't know about that. <laughs> That's no hilarious. This is the fucking thing I've ever heard. Yes. He shouted it, man. He, did, he was like, <laughs> I used to be sex offender, and now I'm like, He was like, I used to be sex offender! Now I am elementary school teacher! Yeah, I already shouted in the pride. Why? <laughs> Why not, I guess? Oh, oh my god. Oh, man, it was hilarious when I found out about that. It was like, oh, dude, someone had the balls to play porn at a government air at government stream. And then I well, hear if that. You're stupid enough to put the to put the stream login information up on Twitter, you're gonna get guys like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I just love that. At all because. I mean, these are the same kind of people that decide, that questioned uh, Mark Zuckerberg on how people can track you through your phone, even though you ran Facebook, not a phone company. E yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we, we Zuckerberg, really Zuckerberg is a strange person. He is, but at the same time, he's a lot smarter than most of these government bodies. Oh, how do you, how do you, how do you manage to pay how, for the, the website if you, if you don't have any paid membership? How do you Sir, do, have, how do you do, you fellow kids? Ads. So we run ads on our website. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they outright looked at him like he was like he was a dumbass. I'm like, sir, we run ads on our website, and they froze and look at him with like a frown. I'm like, dude, how do you not know this? Go to any website without ad blocker. That's how a lot of these websites pay their bills. Go to fanfiction.com. Back in its heyday, there was a shit ton of IMDU. And all these like online uh, online webtoon uh, oh come on that's how they pay their bills. Yeah. This should be this should be like oh, common sense at this point. MySpace had a lot of ads too. When you're able to customize. Uh, you mentioned MySpace and I feel old. Honestly, there should be a there should be a website. Let's go ahead and check MySpace. No new comments. No new friend requests. At least I have you, Tom. You're always there for me. <laughs> oh, Piccolo. Man, I really miss my first the way it used to be, man. It was like, it actually was about you. That also was pretty good. They turned MySpace into this music fucking surfing. surfing and now surfing I am fighting E105. By the way, a lot of Gamma's boss fights are not very engaging. No, you just have to shoot and shoot and shoot. And yeah, you just gotta shoot point and shoot. shoot. There's one boss fight that is engaging, but it's literally the last one. Uh, I've been back, that... by the way. I'm... Oh my god. I never noticed this, but in Transformers The Last Night, they reused a shot from Revenge of the Fallen when Megatron is attacking a submarine. And it, very yeah, briefly, you can see Revenge, Revenge of the Fallen the Megatron movie. in the sequence for no reason whatsoever. That's stupid. Revenge of the Did Fallen you know? isn't that good, but... Uh. Doug do, Walk, You know what Doug uh, Walker said uh, about that movie? It, yeah. He's like, the this cheesy. is the shit! Okay, not the ship. That was the first movie. That was uh well, adequately satisfying. <laughs> no, he didn't just say that. He made a whole oh, video shit. predicting what the pop would be like. And yeah, that was um last night. Like... I was talking about his his overly optimistic jump cut review of Transformers Two. Uh, okay. Which, which when he tried to do the third movie, it didn't work e out. Five Zeta rescue complete. Units remaining. Man, there's something there's something wrong with your oh, franchise God. if you couldn't get to Unicron in time. Oh, you wanna know something more fucked up? The, oh, uh, their version of Unicron was going to be fucking Gamma. awful anyways, so. 
A little bit more off the Hang on, anyway. Let me speak. Let me speak. The third Transformers movie had a completely different ending where Megatron sues for peace. Beta. And uh, it was scrapped because Amazon accidentally leaked the comic book ending of it. Well, it looks like Ome well, it looks like Gamma's about to go. Oh, and oh, and kill himself and and his brother. Hold up. Are we gonna brush over the fact that uh, that he said that Megatron was going to sue? Did he hire She-Hulk? No, oh, you misunderstood. Yeah. No, not like that kind of sue. See, this boss is different, and you it's have to true. actually you move. Know about, Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, you don't. You don't. Oh, my door. You don't just say I'm gonna kill you without meaning death. I mean, you said sue, that implies court, lawyers, judge. God, I love this boss fight. Mostly for the music. You have been served a court order. Speaking of She-Hulk, the She-Hulk show debuted. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we get to that, I need to show you that Transformers game. Let's see where it is. Honestly, She-Hulk, the character looks okay to me. Hang I really don't know what I want. Oh great, now I gotta go through this again. Well at least we get to hear the boss theme a little bit longer. There it is, there it is. So okay, here it is. So in the original novel and comic book, uh Optimus Prime and Megatron have a uh, truce in the film, and that's how the film originally ended. I'll, I'll send screen caps of it in the... Uh, oh yeah, I've heard of that. Now, the novel yeah, actually it's... had Megatron and Optimus as Mega Truce. They double-team Sentinel Prime, I'm um, and, and Meg Megatron goes to Cybertron to establish peace. That would have been... been actually been a really good ending. Yes, it would have been yeah, a good I ending know, that would make up know. for the shit film that was Dark of the Moon. And um, Paramount, in their stupidity, when Amazon accidentally leaked the ending, forced uh, Michael Bay to change it. And Michael Bay was so pissed he killed Megatron off so he can hopefully leave the franchise. But he was forced right back into four. Yeah, Galvatron yeah. came back. And then it was Megatron again for no reason in uh, The Last Night. Yeah, and the all... The Last Night is the movie that was so goddamn bad it killed the fucking franchise. And, um, and not only that, um... I... At, due, to, due to the thing that you told me about in regards to the Matrix, Hugo Weaving did not reprise the role of, of Megatron in any capacity, since there wasn't a plot, a really good explanation for why Megatron came back to life. If the no, character died, be Galvatron, and then Galvatron became Megatron, and nobody cared. Oh, and Frank Welker ended up voicing in Galvatron slash Megatron in both sequels after or, um, Dark of the Moon. You know, good on him. He got paid. Those and movies Frank. made. And those Frank, movies made money. And Frank Welker and I Peter mean, Cullen I gave more of a shit than most of the other cast members in that film. Um, I just, I, I want that director's cut though. I want that original ending, right here, right now. Give me that. It's finished. We know it is. Just give it to us. <laughs> well, Alex, oh, I've got God. bad news. You're winning the game. Yep, and Gamma just died. Uh, this was a depressing uh, ending in this game. It really was. Like, Gamma real looks at himself and he realizes that in order for or the E-Series to be done and over with, he has to self-terminate. Which is more than the T-800 could do. Oof. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, um, so we all want to talk about She-Hulk, right? Uh, want is a strong word. I have not seen the show, but I am familiar with her outside of it. Like, I've read the comic. Comics. She's I've the comic. Her. She's actually a nice girl who tries to help, who actually, he tries to tell Bruce, hey, maybe, 
he embraced the Hulk. It's not a bad thing. And I mean, look at look, that? it's look, it's actually helped me do wonder. Or so maybe he can help you. And, you yeah, know, that's why in the comics you might see. That's why if you ever read a comic somewhere around that time, you might be confused why Hulk can can, can speak complete sentences. That's because that was when Banner embraced the Hulk. And, and I spray it with a boulder. And he became known as Smart Hulk or Banner. Professor Hulk. 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 Yeah, I always saw, I always called him Smart Hulk because you know, hence him um, you know, saying complete sentences. Don't feel sentences. bad about that because the She Hulk show also calls him Smart Hulk. I get cat called down the street. Yeah, well, I, I saw my mom get beat to death by my dad. I don't know how you. <laughs> yeah, Honestly, all of my, several of my friends died. You know. I do. I do. I do. I do. But sure, getting cat called is totally the worst thing that could possibly happen. Yeah, this is DMC or anything. Let me speak. I I actually did part of episode one. Hang on, some Are you kidding me? I get everyone's attention. I get him the ability to speak and someone accidentally interrupts him. Oh God. So. And um, honestly, yeah, I apologize everyone for if I started an argument. I didn't mean to. I again, I apologize. Up, oh, Alex found another lore upgrade. Yeah. Where the again, hell is Froggy? Uh, I, I didn't want. I didn't mean to start an argument. It's all right. No, no, we're fine, and we're past that now. Oh, Ben, what's up? I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so, um... You know, the start of the stakes. I, I, watch I watch this show, and there are... The two moments that are clipped are easily the worst things I've seen in the MCU. By far. The two moments were... Um, her saying... What was that again? I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, like, oh, but I've been catcalling sergeants, like... Um, did he watch his mom get murdered by his dad? Yes, yeah. yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> he watched and a lot of bad of, things happen in his life. Every and version of the whole thing that happened to him, yeah. He's even tried killing himself by sh by slitting his wrists, shooting himself, and then trying to overdose on pills. Yeah. Oh, yeah. granted, that is 616 Hulk. But yes. that's what's basically being referenced. That was basically being referenced in the Avengers. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was briefly seen in the original ending for the original opening for the uh, 2008 Hulk. Yeah. Which remains the best piece of Hulk material ever, unfortunately. You know, it's yeah. also a really I good. Mean, you know, it's all the cartoon Hulk. You know, it's also a really good uh, Hulk material. Oh, and that was in a deleted scene. Banner and Hulk arguing over. Banner and Hulk actually coming to the agree to an agreement, and then they just beat up. Up, um, what's his the face? Ace of the Black Order. Yeah, yeah. And and I'm like, that would have been awesome to see, but no, we had to cut. We had to make that. We had to cut out the scene. Hmm? And that was one of the best character arc cult scenes I've ever seen, and they cut it out. Like, are you kidding me? You couldn't spare the extra five minutes of runtime for this? Like, are you are you serious? Yeah, they cut. Got a lot of time to do. I don't know. It's so stupid. Well, I got enough time to finish up Supersonic. Okay, so um, back to what I was saying. So the second worst scene was the end fight and it is one of the laziest chopping edits i have ever seen it iron is... fist looks better oh, you should never oh or make a fight this. scene that looks Sega. worse than iron fist like it clearly wasn't the filmmakers it was just disney butchering the edit like it was bad legitimately horrifically bad how was the uh, fourth <laughs> wall break i i would say for the rest of the the every other part of the episode, which is so not talk about, character. it's okay. Hey, it's Alex, why is on the why on the select screen is there a golden question mark? I'm 
no. <laughs> Greatest character line ever. Mm. Kevin can't continue. Sure, go ahead. Yes, you can. Bam, bro. Is this... I keep being interrupted. I just want to make sure. I keep getting interrupted too. And you don't hear <laughs> Jester whining about it. No, I'm just saying. Okay. Oh, you just hear him complaining like, loudly like, about that shit. Like outside, uh, uh, outside of the of her, those two parts, it's not horrible. I've seen far worse outside of those two clips, and even like the first clip where she was complaining about being that ball, she moves, moves right through the scene. So I don't know if that was their intent to make her look like a dick, but probably not, not. But you know, I mean, it, it's yeah. As I was going to say, it's it still was done horribly. The good isn't right. that good, and the bad uh, ain't that bad. Sense. I mean, the, I mean, the two parts are some of the worst things out of the Those MCU chaos shows I've seen yet outside of that the Marvel back world, with me. But Something like the bad, like everything happening. else outside of those two parts, I mean, I'll it's take just okay. them to Sonic for his advice. Was that, mis okay. was that mispronunciation per uh, on purpose? No. Wokey, you said. I'm I'm trying to whisper. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, Chaos is. But yeah, that, that's all I have to is say. It, it's just alive, alive. dipshit. Like, I mean, outside of two clips, it isn't like the worst thing I've ever seen. It's just okay. Yeah, although I will say, like, uh, what's her name who plays She Hulk was bitching about how, how, like, she's receiving a level of scrutiny for being a. You know, for having, you know, for being a female superhero. No, you're not. In this. Yes, and it's like, yes. no, you're not. Uh, even if, even if she was, time. that's irrelevant. Did you see the nude scene in the last Thor film? Hey there, Tails. Did yes. you find the tornado too? I Never do, mind I that. I do want to say you it's a little me. funny because she holds Angel Island is falling again. She was hey, no way. In the Who blew it this time? And that's well, clearly know, because Kevin Feige is very horny for the character. You wouldn't be. Yeah, I'm, I'm it's just, a no, shame I'm, she's I'm, not actually as uh, buff as that in real life. No. Yeah. I could have no. just hired somebody who uh, has those kind of muscles IRL. Gwendolyn Christie. But Gina Caron. Fuck Gwendolyn Christie. You could have gotten any WWE star. No, no not like too. that. Um. Oh wait, Disney hates Gina Carano, you're right. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I was gonna say Gina Carano, but Gina Carano oh, is Sonic. not gonna that's uh, not gonna happen. Sorry. Knuckles. And and I don't yeah. remember what it, what when they here? would, you know, find a big guy animals. and paint him green and make that the whole The fact that what? The fact that that O4's uh, Hulk he's not legitimately looks better. The Ang Lee Hulk hey, legitimately has up. better CGI. Playing better shading than She Hulk Sonic. is absurd. If he gets that last I, Chaos Emerald, we're, we're done man. for. No she need to explain. CGI we'll get on it. Looks Tails? both good right. and bad, depending what? on the angle. It's just yeah. no, uh, really to call. Now is not a good time for a flashback. No, no, and when you and when you put it side by side with the Hulk CGI, which is ripped from Infinity War, you get really good this CGI, place. like some CGI that it looks familiar. Looks or bad depending on it's not a dream after all. And it's really jarring and not in a good way. Busty 2.5 score. It's in that, uh, oh, man. what is that? What was that no phrase way. again? Did you hear what I said? Uh, what the, what that looked, it, it looked real and not real at the same time. In Kenny Valley. And yeah, that's, and they are uh, what was that? They use that phrase a lot. Uh, shit. Uncanny it's, Valley. There you go, the uncanny, it looks Uncanny Valley. Yes, that, that is exactly Please don't do this. Oh, there's Froggy. Bah, I 
But yeah, like you were saying, Jordan, before I forget. What are you doing to me, game? The game wants um, wants Big the Cat to drown, which I can totally understand. About, uh, she -Hulk. I still smash She Hulk though. Yeah. I I guess we can move on I, to the next stop. But, but you also have to worry about her smashing you via death by snow snow. And yeah, hey, that'd be a way. To, that'd be a hell of a way to go out. Yes, especially if it's She Hulk. Oh! Wow. Oh, Takal's father is a dumbass. Like, think about it. What other super super chick out there are you are you gonna be willing to at least have a conversation hey, you with right? normally without you know so. bringing up her superpowers as if they're like a big hindrance oh or Raven? great about her in the Marvel no, universe? No, no. Oh. Well, if if it's Clark like, if Clark can father children with yeah. Lois. I'm pretty sure her that Kara zor -El can, uh, has the ability to not, him yeah, to not server kill server somebody, you know? Considering the fact that I, that in my solo verse, or I paired her up with Jaime, hey, who has the blue beetle scarab? Hmm. Alex, what do you think? Yeah, he can take it. <laughs> why he shouldn't. But he will. I don't know why he wouldn't either. We got Bring one of on. We got one of the most shirtless characters in all of yeah. Young Justice going up uh, getting into yeah. an intimate session uh, with a Supergirl. Stews, I guess. A character cool. who has has okay? the largest boob window in the history of there. anything ever. Uh, uh is it okay. Okay, Supergirl, Power Girl, they're not exactly the same, but you know, no, some not, you know, someone are, said, but... you know, someone had made a joke about what Power Girl was gonna fill that cleavage window with, and it was a sticker of a cleavage window. <laughs> I know we've That's said funny. I know I've said that before, but uh, that just I just can't resist. Yeah, Supersonic campaign is very very short. Yes, it is. Hence why I'm like, yeah, I've got enough time. I think I'm gonna just finish this. And we're right to the tornado too. Yeah. So let's get the chaos in the God damn it, game. What are you, you doing to me, game? What? You guys want to move on to the next topic? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'll start the next no. one. No. Um, He's got so the last emerald. This is one thing I gotta say. Now what do we do? One, this one, one more thing I gotta say about the Sea Hulk show. I hope they bring in Tigra. They already. You know what? They already fucked up, um, Lonsky. Because yeah. it's just Tim Roth with a. Without even putting the voice changer on him anymore. And Tim Ro and Blonsky looks so different compared to what he was in in the um, Incredible Hulk, Hulk movie. No, I like Tim Roth. Tim Roth is a great actor. He was in one of my favorite TV shows. But... Oh, and he was also in um, the shitty a Tim Ember in Planet of the Apes reboot. Yeah. Uh... But he was one of the best things about it. My patience is waiting. Please come back, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry I called you a dumbass earlier. Please get come home. Oh, um, so I think it's time to move on. Yeah. The, the, the next topic. So game development wise, so, during the PS3 era, the Jessica developer went to the studio on Iron Man. Uh, the co-founder has revealed in a recent interview. The uh, parent story goes is that uh, Disney wanted to rush the game out, increase the budget, and hire 100 extra people. And it claims the co-founder is going to destroy the company. Was that the... Uh... You know those Iron Man games that were based off the movies? There were not going to be anything like that. Was no, that the first-person Iron Man game? No, it was not. Third person. Okay. 
No, no, that was a first-person Avengers game. Yes, it was. That was a different one. That okay. What was it then? A third person? Or like if a I wasn't beat em just up? Dreaming, a third I person? Monster. Like a third person a real menace. Sonic, you just described Spider-Man. Think basically... Think basically, um... Looks like he's after chaos too. Saints Row 4, I think, is what they were going for. No, like this direct comparison is just Chaos, but with Iron Man. Okay. Because it's the same developer. Because I think that would basically be Saints Row 4. Yeah, okay. Sounds, it also sounds a lot more appealing. Saints Row 4. I mean, that got but I do respect the developer for sticking with their guns and not going bankrupt over it. So, get on them. It's just Whee! a shame that can't see, but you know, it makes this shit enough. happens all the time. Who do you think you are, anyway? Um, anyone have any thoughts before we move on to that next topic? Oh, uh, that's you. I mean, how, what could you possibly say about that? I mean, the hearing one. that they have to cancel an Iron Man game because Disney had to do corporate to shows and, you know, and tell them he had to rush it, so we have to cancel it. That just shows Disney is still greedy, and that just chaos. shows that the people who want now to make a game and actually care about the product and if it goes on, he'll eventually are the ones that the suffer the most. Like if yeah. There's nothing we can really say about the product itself because there hasn't even been a, there hasn't even been a leaked copy of the game, like how there's yeah. like there's leaked footage of the Flash video game that was supposed to happen. There's there's a lot we could say about that. But there's nothing really you could say about the the canceled Iron Man game. Look, I'm sure something will leak out eventually. It's the just a matter of time. Now. Nothing stays hidden forever. How can that help? Games are canceled like 20 years ago. It won't change how he feels and inside, will it? Elsewhere. His heart it will still remain in him. It is just a damn shame that, that, uh, just won't vanish. that all the superhero games got shit canned after a while, you know? Like, I think the last good one we got... Well, hell, the last one... Last, what was the last one we got before uh, the Insomniac Spider-Man? Hey, before um, that, uh, I think it was Injustice 2. Here, take this. No, that no, wasn't wait, a good one. That's DC, though. That's DC. That was Marvel. also really bad. Hey guys, what's Mar up? Marvel vs. Capcom DC Infinite happened. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big oof. Yeah. yeah and here's the sad thing, Gizmo. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite has better keyframe animations than Injustice 2. Also, they were going to have more characters and a lot more DLC, but uh, they canceled all plans because of how badly the game is sold. Oh, here we have recycled voices from the, uh, from Sonic thing in Japan. What? The power of friendship will empower these Chaos Emeralds. So that Sada could go Super Saiyan and kick Chaos's ass. Alright, so he's stealing stuff from My Little Pony. I mean Sailor Moon. I mean My Little Pony. I mean Sailor Moon. I mean every other anime. I mean every other cartoon in the 80s. I mean I every other anime. Pretty much, My yeah. Pony actually have a power up thing like that. Technically, yeah, they did. So what happened was there was like a lot of there was like. Oh, by the way, was... Alex, since I have the since I have the Dreamcast mod on. On we have we don't have open your heart until phase two of this boss fight. Actually, makes more sense. Sonic, it's up to you now. Rather than having open your heart just be. The, the funny thing about uh, the funny thing about My Little Pony is that I'll there literally the is a lot really of do. magic spells and powers that have to do to with friendship. Sonic, with friendship. Money. Well, I mean. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking like, oh, it's, you have a strong heart, you have a lot of determination, basically it's just another way of saying, uh, strong will. No, it, it literally is based on friendship, like your friendship with these people, friendship with that person, that kind of thing. Literally, a lot of the overpowered shit is based on your own, your own, uh, friendship. Which like is kind Air of funny. Fair, fair. Yeah, like the Care Bears Fair, it's like... Uh, he, she, she wanted to uh, defeat one villain from season one. Oh, power of friendship. She wanted to defeat another villain in season two. Friendship. Uh, another villain in season three. Friendship. Uh, turn a villain into a hero. Technically, friendship. Wanted to defeat the last villain of the last season. Friendship. It was literally. It was literally 
not figuratively, powered by friendship every single time. Not like how Anthony was like, oh, ha ha ha, ha it's the power of friendship. You know, even though it's literally Thunder him being stronger and being stronger, that kind of thing. Danger, walking, like, rising, you lied to me. Glamour, they literally signs took the friendship angle and it's such know, a made bad it a sword, song. Power. Shadows of dark creatures, but, uh, steel clouds floating in the air. People run for shelter. What's gonna happen to us? Okay, let's talk about Saints Row. We make all the new Saints Row game released to the mat around the world. And we, what can we do? You and I the same in the way that. We have our own styles and Intro reboot starts to fall for us. I could have told you that not years ago. No I, 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 well, we knew it was going to. They, you know, the fact that they didn't just oh, make a safe no, for a five. No, it was no, just... But I will never I mean, go. There, I know it's a one-way train. Get out of hell exists. You can do whatever the fuck. All you have to yeah. do is say, hey, hey look, the Third Street time. Saints are in a new city. You're the new yeah, boss. Right. Mm -hmm. Create a new character. Gentlemen, Ooh. I'm... Yeah. Gentlemen, so I finished. Right, yeah. they could have actually done that, but and and also they, they could have actually made a Saints Row 5 if you think about it, because uh, yeah, one yeah, of the... And, <laughs> Hi, Omega! Not Omega. Yeah, you meet. Hi, Gamma! Think about By the way, things. Alex, I finished uh, the game. Yeah, I'm I'm close. I'm close to finishing the game. You've got one more campaign before Supersonic. Yep. Like, think about it like this though. Uh, because of the existence of Volt Guide out of Hell, and chaos has changed again. This time for the better. Saints Row 4, they could have actually made it something they wanted to. Like, for example, uh, Saints Row Saints Row 4, right? They had, they said that they have the tech to time travel. Yeah, they could have done something like a bunch of a bunch of street gangsters are has the power of time travel, but now they're being hunted they down by these like time cops or these uh, time patrol agents, and now they gotta beat the shit out of them while they're doing what they're doing on the history. Or they could have done something with Gat Out of Hell, where one of the, the endings is over. that Gat restores to Earth, but he reboots on. the time. Timeline and therefore now he's a actually a cat yeah, is now a cop. So they could have done much. something with that, but no, they decided to reboot a, a, intro entirely. No, 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 no. Um, they actually did make a game about that and it sucked. What? Oh, you're talking about changes of mayhem? No, that's something else. No, isn't isn't that the timeline? Sure it, it was. Ages of Mayhem. Mayhem is one of them, yeah. Ages of Mayhem is something else entirely, though, because yeah, it's got like three, maybe four. You gotta press characters. the switch and then. Uh... It's. I think it's only if, if if anything, it feels like Saints Row a side story, like a side story Saints Row. Because okay, it's got Gat. No, I'm looking at the wiki page now. It is that well, Kenzie. Well, it ends well, right? The city's fucking destroyed, Tails! Sorry, I had to get that out of the way. It is from the Recreate Earth ending of Saints Row 4. Yeah, but they didn't really take advantage of that. There's no mention of the Saints, there's no mention of the other gangs, there's no mention of, like, Genki Bowl or anything like that. Or there, There's no even mention of the original stuff from the original Saints from Row 1 or 2. I know, I meant like, they did use it, but they did it in the worst way possible. The worst way possible would have at least been something, but they didn't do anything with it. Yeah. Worst way possible, they could have at least had like, a lot of references, but not a lot of Thunder, substance. rain, <laughs> like, and lightning. Like Danger walls rising. Glamorous like they had a, oh man, how do I put this? If they did it badly, they would have at least given you the full burden. Right? And that is like the meat is not as rare as you want it. The tomatoes feel like a little old, the lettuce a little bit. But if that, they gave you the burger, it takes, but at least it tastes. 
a bit messy, right? You know, you're still hungry. You'll you have a meal, is what, what you're can saying. We do? You have we a, meal. a great meal, but it's still a meal. In the right. way that we have but our own styles, and we won't change. Yours is filled with evil, and mine is not there. Uh, they no gave you a frozen patty. They gave you a tomato. They popped on the floor. They gave you lettuce that was like a uh, week old. It's, they gave you a bun that's straight up I know uh, it's a one way uh, hard. track. Tell me it's, now. Uh, they gave you a so meal that you could not digest even if you wanted to. No matter how much ketchup, way, mayonnaise, or mustard you put on. on others. Oh. That's what happens when the game like fucking cooked. Now I see what I've got to do. Open your eyes, it's gonna be all they right. They basically the guy at the register cook, if anything. I muted Kevin off Ancient my end. Really Shadows keep attacking. <laughs> Little, Little children crying. Confusion, hopeless Confusion. anger. Oh, I don't yeah. know what yeah, it can be, really but you easy. drive um, me crazy. All your darling tricks make me sick. Um, you it, won't it, have it, it your own right. way. Come on, man, let's we'll try it. Hold yeah. on much longer, but uh, I will never I'll let it go. <laughs> I know it's Kevin. a one-way track. Kevin. Yes? Kevin, can you stop singing along? We're trying to talk. <laughs> I'm sad now. I will give you my illness. But I fucking love this. I love this song. Don't judge. I will cough on you. Who's... Froggy, stay still. Oh, Mason's okay, joined so. the chat. So everyone knew that the new safe would be bad. Like, uh, like them insulting the fans and then getting rid of all the edgy stuff that they broke. Oh yeah, stuff. speaking of insulting the fans and getting rid of edgy stuff, there's a Roe v. Wade reference. What? Yes. In the quit, uh, in the quit screen. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. No. It's like, you selected to abort this mission. And, but what if you couldn't? Think about uh, that. Yeah. That's, that's not even like edge. That's cringe. Someone tried to complete it, but they never actually exit the mission to know if that happened. That's fucking cringe, man. It's bad. It's well, it's good. Good. here's the thing, though. Here's the, here's what. Okay, I'm only gonna say this about that matter. Okay, he made it illegal, but then he made a pe but then he's allowing people to carry more guns. Think about that. For a minute, eight. And then that's it. That's all you gotta think. All you gotta think about is he made that illegal, but he made you kick but he's allowing you to carry more guns. Think about that. It just but yeah, um, so but it became vastly worse than what than just the writing. The game itself is effectively unfinished. Open world empty, there's nothing to do. A lot of the missions are copy and pasted from the previous games. You can't kill the shopkeepers for the other games. Oh, fuck. Like, a lot of the basic stuff from the previous games is just either broken or gone. And the worst part, they like it. The worst part, you know how you can play like the heist in the previous uh, Saints Row games and even GTA 5? Right. Yep. You don't. You don't do the you can't do them. You have to wait in the car while your teammates do the heist. Fucking why? I I don't Sega. know. What is that shit? I mean, that's not even Saints Row. It's not. It's just a dead corpse that they're just pissing on at this point. Saints Row in name only. And well, even, like journalists in the game, which is really surprising. Yeah, that was also a little more surprising. I would thought they would have gone like. Oh yeah, I'm so I'm so for this game because it's so you know pro feminist or something like that. No, they they outright hate the game too. Yeah. That's well, the only, oh, only I've... positive review I've seen was from Game Informer, but that's from GameStop and them to be a marketing crew. And Game Informer can't be trusted. They can never yeah. be trusted ever again. By the way, a so now that I'm done with the game. No. Uh. I'm going to try and get done with it as quickly as possible. Yeah, I mean, we need to get through these topics really you, fast. Let's try and uh, Kevin, start playing the uh, 
the unlockable Game Gear games. Why would I play those? To Are pass the time. No! Rudahar, at some ordinary gamers, points out that, that uh, like, GTA San Andreas and Saints Row 2 had way more to do in him than this game does. It's Saints Row, right? Yeah, yeah. Saints Row yeah. 2. Yeah, they did. <sighs> Fine, I'll play I Sonic that, I, Drift. I, I, okay, uh, I think we should wrap up uh, Saints Row because we still have a lot of topics to get yeah. through. And it's late and we need to start sure. things up soon. I think we should settle what we need to say anyway. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go on to the next topic. Let's make this one quick. Uh, Quake Champions has quietly aged it uh, early access after five full years. It is now officially a full game. I guess. Are you sure about that, though? That apparent, according to the um, Xbox, yes, it's now also on console. Like, yeah, but was on are, game Pass, like, are they know. sure about that? That's the thing. I mean, you're taking a game out of early access. That that has to mean that your game is now a full-fledged yes. game. You know that yeah. that means everything's fixed. Every everything you could possibly fix is fixed. Everything. I mean, it's a it's a Bethesda game, Fuck. so that's fixed as it is. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's broken. I mean, it is. It was active. Wait. My brain is fried. I mean, you see what you, but you see what I'm trying to say, though, right? I mean, I it, it, you're out of early access. So everything you have to fix Fuck. is fixed. Everything you have to add is added in. All, all the timed events are now something you, you can you can participate in outside of, you know, early access, that kind of shit. I would so, imagine, but I don't know the details. I just know it's a now a full game. If it's now a full game, that, that's what I expect, though. Everything's fixed. Everything's fulfilled and everything like that. I don't that. know. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not asking I'm not asking you. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> if, I'm just saying that's what anybody anybody should be expecting. Yeah. You know, if if, yeah. if I finally if I find out that my M favorite MMO is now out of early access, fuck, I expect all the bugs to be fixed, all the classes to be now added, whether it be paid for or not. Ah, or, god know, damn it! Et cetera, et cetera. I don't. When they say this, I expect that's what I actually that's what I expect. You know, no more glitches. Guys, no why the hell am I driving a car when I'm Sonic the goddamn Hedgehog? You're asking this like, when Sonic and Street All Stars Racing exists? Yep. And that's why Sonic Drift sucks. Monorail, monorail, that's why monorail, Sonic Drift sucks. Mono -do. That's all I gotta say in the matter. It's just if, mm. if they take it out of early access, that we should expect a lot of stuff to be fixed, added, yeah. so on and so forth. You know? uh. Yeah. Um, uh, to our next topic, um, we talked about this a while back, but a Knights of the Old Republic. Remake fell apart under what company was making it done? Search of an A. Some, I think it was Game Loft. Was it? No, it was not. It was not Game Loft. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna end up doing and while Alex is still trying to beat the game. Is it A? Is it A Roth? I can't say their name right. It was uh, something, something insane. And like Some... they took a port studio and made them do a fucking full game. Yeah, and the um here's the thing, the port studio po po uh, uh, what was it pitched it and said they could Ash for it. entertainment, maybe? No, it was not. Oh you know, yeah, you might be right. But um they pitched to Disney that they could finish it in two years. And Disney gave them the budget. They started working with Cyber Interactive and then they signed a deal with Sony to make it an exclusive and unsurprisingly the they weren't able to make the deadline and the project sort of fell into pieces and Ooh, so here? embrace the group um a few days ago confirmed that they would go to a different studio but they didn't name names until today it is now going to cyber interactive bum, already bum, helping bum, the game, bum, 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 the game bum, was about bum. the game was about two years away or more before being finished okay guys what's worse the game gear sonic one or sonic or um or uh, fuck, what was the Sonic One port for GBA? Sonic Genesis. Yeah, Sonic Genesis. What's worse? Sonic Genesis. 
Sonic Genesis. Oh yeah, that's fair. Eric, considering this game actually works. Bum, 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 yes, bum, bum, bum. Exactly. Okay, but, um, what, what's everyone's thoughts on the, uh, Knights of the Old Republic game? Man, can years, we, though? can I mean, we just let that gosh. game die already? Uh, no. Look, we still have no. the original Kodor. Kodor 1 was great, you know. Kodor 1 and least are still around, right? Fuck! Yeah, the just buy Kodor 1. You can still buy at least one or the other on Steam. Here's the thing, though. Like, here's my theory. I think they're legally contracted to actually finish it. Yeah, they're gonna have they, to finish it. They, because they signed that exclusive with Sony, so Sony's expecting a fucking game, right? And they, I don't think they can legally cancel it by this point. They do have to finish it. Uh, so, so yeah. um, happy, uh, happy 15th anniversary to Bioshock, by the way. Oh, I'm sad. No years, huh? Well, at the very least, Alex, since you have an Elgato, now you can stream that game. Yeah. Uh, I would like to stream that game if I ever get a better graphics card. I'd recommend so getting... I really should... I really think you should get, like, an Elgato for, for your things. It's done oh, wonders uh, for me. Oh, I, got, I have an HD 60S Plus. Oh, nice. Yeah, but the thing is, again, I think I have to get a better graphics card because everything is still a little bit blurry. And every time I try to, you know, uh, uh, maximize everything, some of the games, uh, when I try streaming them, like stutter or like lose frames. I got even, it! Even the old games. You did it? Big is done. Big is done. Woo! Okay, well, um, Alex, you got next... one more campaign to do. Yep. To the next, to the next topic, if you don't mind. Um, so, remember the R.I.P.D.? No. Yeah, R.I.P.D. No. The movie with the... Directed DVD no. Sequel about no. Ryan Reynolds and the, the other guy. No. Jeff Bridges. No. Why? No. Uh, no. Yeah, this was something no. I found. Yeah, this is getting a sequel. R.I.P.D. 2 is going straight to video. Or streaming services. It's finished, it's produced, we don't know who's in it, but we know that Ryan Reynolds has no part. Yeah. Um, Man, such a great idea to shat on. Yeah. yeah. Ed Sheeran is apparently doing music for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, along with Toby Fox. So this oh, is going to be... Cool. Yeah, oh. this is officially going to be one of the best soundtracks of any Pokemon game. We, uh, here's the thing, though. No, no, I have to counter this because he did the music for Sword and Shield, and that game sucked. Yeah, but so. it, but Toby Fox Fucking did good hell. music for that. He did, but still, the game sucked. So it didn't yeah. really matter. Like I said, best one, soundtrack. Not one day I'll get. Game. One day I'll yeah. get the Sword and Shield. I'm, oh. Somewhat surprised they didn't do a uh, a post Malone song in this, yeah. considering he was the guy they had headlining the fucking Pokemon twentieth anniversary or twenty fifth anniversary album. Like okay. they didn't even have Post Malone singing the theme song. They had him singing "I Always Want to Be with You" by Hootie and the Blowfish. That ain't got shit to do with Pokemon. <laughs> Oh yeah, the uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer reboot is on indefinite hold. Thank Good. fucking God. <laughs> that Good, that I... show was lightning in a bottle, and you're not going to replace it. You Buffy tried. and Angel, Buffy and Angel were two of the best shows to grace the the TV screens of the late '90s and early well, late '90s, early 2000s. Then it ain't fucking happening again. Yeah, just yeah, trying to make fun. a good show. You I know? feel like they tried and only succeeded once or even maybe t yeah. maybe even twice with stuff like Super FUCKING Natural. HELL! Supernatural wasn't trying to recreate Buffy the Vampire Slayer though. Supernatural no, but, was well, like, like, I feel it's, like trying to fill it's, in that like, gap. it's like Scooby-Doo without the dog, you know? A funny thing about that, they actually did cross over with Scooby-Doo. Yeah, that was yeah. actually, that was a really fucking good idea, too. Yeah, it was good. It was done well, too. Hey, Gizmo. It was actually violent and bloody. Gizmo. Um, yeah, what's up? So, which of the, uh, which of Shonen's big three would you say is your favorite? 
deck three meaning One Piece, Bleach, and Dragon Ball Z, right? Naruto. Oh, that's yeah, Dragon Ball four. Z was earlier than Naruto. No, I'm talking big four. DBZ predates the big three. Yeah. Yeah. DBZ is its own thing. Yeah. Yeah, so it's between Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece. It's Bleach, One Piece, and Naruto. Ah, uh, man. No, Apparently, Shouter and Codename KND are scheduled to return to Cartoon Network on September 5th. I don't know how. I don't know how, considering how it was garbage and Codename KND was good, but I'm not looking forward to it because Codename. You are wrong. Duns, you are wrong, and I shall shun you. You are wrong. Codename KND ended. Yeah. Let it end. No, but here's the thing, no, they actually were more playing on some see. other stuff because I they were playing... Oh, no, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I wanna see that sequel series because the creator did pitch a sequel called the Galactic Base Candy Explorer. or whatever called Galactic Candy, was it? Yeah, it was Black Next Door. Yeah. And it had a good, it was a good freaking trailer, too. And Cartoon Network never picked it up. Yeah. Now, okay, so. Now, who knows? Maybe it airing again is like a test kind of thing. Like, maybe we're considering it and we want to see how well it does view rise. Sure, but every time kids, was like, every time Cartoon Network tried to air another action show, they would always cancel it for some stupid ass reason. Like Young Usually. Justice, oh, didn't like Young Justice, oh, it didn't get enough toy sales. Mega Sex LR, oh, uh, we didn't get the views we want. Uh, Symbionic Titans, it didn't get enough toy sales. It's like the fuck no, you that's want, not, man. They do <laughs> it's either yeah, they toy... find a toy contract for it, yeah. It's either toy sales get the viewers that we wanted, but and either way, they always say some stupid ass reason, and yet even then. The show is always successful in some way or another. Because, yeah, okay, yeah, we, we didn't get, we, we didn't succeed in this timeline, but have you considered that you're more successful in this timeline? Nope, they don't. They, they don't care. Oh, okay, but you're, you're okay with a lot of the boys watching it, but you do realize also a lot of the girls watch it too. You're acting like the Fuck. girls don't exist, and you're acting like the numbers don't add up just because girls are watching it too. It's like it's like with Invader Zim. That was making a lot of money for Nickelodeon, and they canceled it because it was getting too much of an adult audience. Okay, and that's a big, big and. And, and if that, if I ever heard one, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, a lot of adults are watching it, and it getting like a lot of young, viewers. Young, older teens, but like, yeah, it's like Young Justice was mostly yeah. garnering garnering viewers due to the fact that you know. There was quite a bit of shirtless dudes and and um and a lot of the ladies and the and the ladies are are loving the shipping thing that goes yeah, on in that yeah. show. So I'm like, really? Just because as just because the female fan base appreciates it? Come on. That's like an anime audience too, if you think about it. Like, yeah, like, it's like a lot of action. Joshi, a lot yeah, of, yeah, it's a lot of shirtless dudes. That's like, that's like something you would hear at like in one or two anime shows. Like, like in, that's like something you would hear from an an, one or two anime shows where like the girls are the demographic. It's like no, it just happens to be an action show. And, you know, it's often weird how. So it's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And so. Makes sense why a lot of girls will go, girls will go Gaga over Superboy or Aqualad or The Flash or something like that. Well, it makes Kid, sense. Kid Flash, they go Gaga, Ash, um, Robin, and both Robins until one of them turned into Nightwing. Even then, they still into him. Well, oh, that's also due to the fact that Night that um Dick Grayson in that show is voiced by I Jesse McCartney. The Roxas. Wow, I forgot about that. I forgot that Dave. Jesse McCartney. Jess McCarty does a good job. He does. He does There's a girl at my job who's a big Jesse McCartney fanboy. A fanboy. <laughs> a fanboy. Oh, well, in this day and age, she could be a fanboy. I see Robot Shadow. <laughs> so you're on um, Gamma's campaign now? Uh, 
Well, that's well, Alex. You should be able to easily steamroll through that one. If they're gonna bring back Kids Next Door and Cartoon Network, they have to at least bring back other properties that Fuck. people love, such as maybe not Symbiotic Titans because that's still a little bit niche. But Shake maybe, it, crank it, booty uh, quake it, roll it around. At least, at least something like Megas Fuck. XLR, because robot, robot, um, everything is that. I, I hate to say this, um, they legally can't use that show because they wrote it off as a tax write-off. Oh, that's lame. That's okay, fucking lame. So... Guys, then. Give it back to the owners. Give it back to the guys with Thawne. Um, the okay. Place. They can't. It's, so... it's legally impossible. What are they doing with it? They literally can't do anything with it? That's, if that's um, the case, yeah, what are they doing with it at all? The same thing, the same thing happened with the uh, spinoff to Courage Tower Dogs, which wouldn't be a spinoff. Um, the creator said that was pretty much killed by a tax shot off, so that people show will never see the light of day. They're, they're just being Are you just flying around, they, Eggman? They, have, they eventually have to pay for their dumbassery and just put the shows back up and say, yeah, you know what, We there's enough uh, popularity here for another season. I'm pretty or sure sequel. they can't, though. I'm pretty sure when it's right off as a tax write off, they legally cannot no longer use it. Give uh, it to someone else, more, then. Huh? Sell it to someone else. Give it to. Uh, can you explain it better than I can? I don't know. Uh, basically because they're taking it as a write-down on their taxes, they're saying they're not allowed to ever make any more money from it. But I think, you know what? That's a tax loophole that needs to be fucking closed. Yeah, I agree. I'm at the bridge zone, guys. Fuck! But it can be, it can be, uh, taken advantage of then, right? Someone could take advantage of the loophole and maybe make another Magus. XLR? No, no mm. not until it falls into the public domain, which is not going to be for like 70 something years. God damn it. Yeah, this is why you need to we need to start working on like like loosening up copyright laws. Because 25 Fuck. years is more than enough. Game over. Okay, um Dude, game forget eight, 25. Let's try how about 10? Forget 25. How about 10? Nah, that's way too no. I don't agree with nah, that. Ten is too short. I still think twenty five is also too short. I feel like that screws over the creator. Okay, thirty. We'll go thirty. Mm, maybe. Thirty, 30 is um, the longest okay, um, I'm willing okay. to give you. Seventy five okay, is um, way too long good. because a lot of the people would be dead by then before they even. No, they wouldn't be dead. No. But no. Oh, what's the biggest? Seventy five years. Seventy five years. And I think we had Dave. The Dave original Del period of the original copyright period was 15 years. 25 Fuck. years was where it was extended to, and then it was extended to like 40 years, and then it was 75 plus the lifetime of the creator. I think we need to just dial it down to 30, and everything that's more than 30 years old, that's a generation. 30 years is like a generation, and then some. You know what? So, I think it all. I think it all. It all should depend on how old certain properties are. By the way, yeah. uh, Gizmo, you didn't answer my question earlier. Uh, well, is it the, the it, top three, which one I think is no. the best or something Yeah, like which which do you think Inga is the best, as in your opinion, of the Shonen Big Three? Uh, fuck. Uh, man, that, that depends. That has, that's a big question because there's a lot to consider. Because I'm not funny when I say like this, like this thing. That man looking for. I'm really not. I'm. There, I'm not really. I'm really not joking when I say there. It all depends on like the factors because there's a lot to consider, like action scenes, the music, the the and the girls, the guys. You know who you hate, who you One love. One Piece. One Piece has the best girls, the best guys, the best music. And uh, no, not on the best music or action because okay, Naruto, Naruto, Naruto and... definitely has the best music, I'll say. Uh, Bleach. Bleach says hi uh, because like Shiro Sagasu. The... I like Man. the Bleach music, but Naruto has that aesthetic that I love. Yeah, and, ble and so does Bleach. Okay, you got a point there. I'm I'm torn up here. One Piece, hey, um, I feel um, like, has the better action. Okay. Yeah, anyway. Hey, um, can we one go Piece, on I feel the like, next? has the, the best lore in terms of amount, but I think I think Bleach has... I think Bleach has more... better lore when it comes to quality. And the thing is with Bleach lore is, like, you've got a... Qu
It's like you've got so Naruto much. Naruto has like. Select a character. Naruto, I feel like, has the Let's best, like, balance wise. And it's here's got, the like... thing: when Bleach establishes a new, like, a new race or villain and whatnot, they stick with that. They don't just pull shit out of nowhere. Sure. They're like, oh, oh, Aizen's the bad guy. We stick with that. The only villain, true villain, I think that holds it back from any, from having the best villains is time. Like, the time it makes, the, the time it makes, it makes anything. <laughs> No, I won't. Why I say this? Because the latest film we have. Hero Pulsa has escaped. It is time to go out there and beat up putty monsters that go. <laughs> By the way, and oh, and uh, I'm trying to get the Green Ranger to stop. Oh, sorry, the Green Robot to stop chasing a girl who uh, is about 12 years old. He wants to see her panties. He doesn't want to see what's inside the panties. He just wants to see what's what the panties are. He wants to smell them. No, he doesn't even want to smell them. I mean, he just he, he has a portfolio. No, so he's not going to take them off her. He just wants to know where they came from and where he can buy a pair. He doesn't even wear them himself. I don't know why. He's really weird. You guys need to go get his ass before he makes me look bad. Is this a Dr. Slump reference? No, he's no. just no, he's just talking he's about um um Zero. Oh, from the game from Sonic Adventure. The fuck? Zero is the robot that um that's hunting that's been hunting down Amy. Jesus. I I okay um. Let's get to the other topics. We have like two or three left before this yeah. ends. Yeah, and yeah, so, and the, yeah, and I yeah, and I'm um, perfectly willing to stop the game and then move on to um, Sonic Adventure Two next time we do. Next time, I'm and Gizmo. Yeah, oh, you said you would be interested in joining us for that, correct? Yeah, when the time comes. Yeah, yeah let's, so let's I'll sketch. I'll um I'll at you on Twitter. Twitter when I'll at you on Twitter when when that when that comes around. Until Frog was seen heading toward the beach, it'd be great if you'd let me onto the beach game. You, uh, Alex, you gotta blow up the gates. Oh, I I can do that. I yeah, you for, that. yeah you yeah you commit terrorism. E one o two gamma E one o two gamma is a terrorist. Yeah. Time for terror. <laughs> Eggman's okay, like, look, I programmed you to catch a frog. I did not program you for terrorism. Aloha snack bar. Uh, Aloha snack bar. Oh, he's been he's been radicalized by Robisis. Oh, and um, oh. Oh, and another. And you know the thing is, Studio Piero still has better adaptations of their bit of the big three than, and Toei. Yeah, I was trying to say uh, the the, 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 the problem with, Sonic. The problem with Bleach. The problem that Bleach has with their villain. Only killed millions of masters, other robots to get there. And Omega, the what did you do? Gamma, I what did you do? Omega, be like, Sorry, I didn't even. It. Omega. Omega is causing trouble down on at the at the lunch rack. He, <laughs> he can't eat, but he keeps shoving in green beans into his face hole. <laughs> it it clogs up his insides, and now I have to. Do regular maintenance on it. Anyway, um, Gizmo, you were saying? I was trying to say, uh, the only, the only big enemy that Bleach ever, ever had is time. Because if you don't, if, I don't know if you guys remember, but, uh, there were, like, uh, they were going to, the moment that he, he was, that the guy who made Bleach was told to end it, uh, he already made a villain that literally protected, that literally, uh, 
he made a villain that predicts the future. Yeah, that's uh, Yu Habak. Yu Habak yeah. has garnered the power of um, the Almighty, which allows him to see pretty much everything. And so when he made that character, he was told, "Yeah, we're ending the we're ending the we're ending the manga." So as quickly he had to think of something. Yeah, it was that Deus Ex Machina thing with um, Uryu. Because origin, because at first, um, because Aizen actually pulled a big, big team play, a there using Kyoko Suigetsu to fool it, it, but that wasn't enough. Yeah. Can we go on to the next topic? We only have a few left before we. Have to yeah. Play. Okay, so the next topic. Um, so it looks like the Avengers yes. were just gunned down by a top tier Maverick as Top Gun Maverick becomes the sixth highest grossing film of all time. Nice. Enjoy my bad pun. Nice. I mean, it's, yeah. it's Top Gun. I mean, you can't I'm surprised really no one noticed the three bad puns I did. Eh. Bad puns? Those were great puns. No, they were bad. <laughs> They were bad, but yeah, okay. I was like, eh, that makes sense. Yeah, so I don't think there's much to comment on that, so I can just go on to the last big topic of the night. Yes. Guys, so I see something next... horrifying. So Look at my stream, next... and you'll see something horrifying. Um, do you have a link? Uh, I'm looking, I can't see. I thought he would have put it up on Look the at this. robot flashing back. It's a promo for Sonic X. Ah. <laughs> That's horrifying. Oh, I see. I see. Done is with the uh, Chow cult. Yes, yeah. the Chow cult that worships chaos as their god. <laughs> Look at him go. I mean, after all, where else do you, you think they get their name from? DeviantArt. Uh, I think I see one of them slitting their throats as a sacrifice. Congratulations! You're all failures except for fucking Gamma! Gamma's yeah. the worst one! Mean and he managed to get better than any of you! And then meanwhile, Omega is just sitting there, or like, wait, what? He was not paying attention? Yeah, I trained you wrong as a joke, and somehow... I think there was an underflow error, and you managed to get good. Jesus. By the way, um, time to die. And you know, and you know, Gizmo. Oh, at the, you know, Gizmo. At the very least, when when that whole old thing with Yuhabak uh, came about at. He was the villain from beginning to end of that arc. Right from the get-go, this was the guy they were fighting. This They weren't going to fight some twist villain after twist villain after goddamn twist villain. God, I fucking hate the a fourth great ninja war arc. Yeah. That arc can go die in a goddamn fire. Let's see the five, six, seven, and eighth grade Ninja War arcs. Uh, you have to, the fact you have to say seventh and eighth grade Ninja War arcs is kind of funny and kind of terrifying at the same time. Because imagine without context, someone's listening in and you're talking about kids beating the shit out of each other to the death. And the thing, and the thing, Boruto oh, is still ongoing and it's a monthly manga, yet its art looks like shit. Oh. oh, yeah, apparently they, uh, a little fun fact about that show, they changed, they gave uh, Sakura's uh, daughter on a different outfit. Salad. Then, then, the man then the manga version. Yeah, the manga version that was drawn by Kishimoto. Yeah. Is there a big deal I should be thinking? Because I, I thought that the outfit she was wearing in the... In the 
the anime was the same, was one of the same ones she wore. I mean, it looks like one of Sakura's old outfits, if anything. Yeah. Am I? Am I just? Am I, Am I the only one that thinks this? It's kind of weird that people, like, haven't noticed that not only they didn't give her the manga outfit, but they're actually giving her an outfit that looks like the first season outfit of that soccer war. <sighs> I swear, they're setting up Salad to be the most useless member of the Uchiha clan. Alright. Sony, Sony um, is being sued by the UK Collective Action uh, for $5.8 million over a PlayStation Store royalties as they claim that they're charging customers more money than, um, than legally possible or something. I don't quite <clears throat> get it. I think Dunn may know more. Like, I'm not aware of this. Yeah, I get the jet see. booster. Where the fuck is the jet booster? It's um, it's in the left. It's on the uh, top up left exit. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah. Adam, do you know do you know about the lawsuit so he's facing? As in, um, I know about it, but I don't know that I know a whole lot about it. The thing is, Sony keeps getting sued for doing stupid shit, and uh. They always do stupid I, shit, though. I, I'm not surprised at this point, you know? Okay, here it is. So, the suit is about that they're ripping people off by taking a 30% cut on all transactions made on the PlayStation Store. I mean, I, yeah. I, I understand what they're saying, but at the same time, like, you had to agree to that, you know? Yeah, there's a contract to use on the PlayStation, but, like, you could argue that no one do about that, but uh, like when someone buys something or when someone makes games for them? Um, I think it's when you buy games. The more yeah, expensive boy. Um, yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm not going to explain okay, it. Okay, they... Sony takes a 30% revenue cut of uh, anything sold on the PSN, basically. Okay. Yeah. But like... Okay, so like, let's say 20 bucks, there's, let's say there's something that's clean cut, 20 bucks off the, off the PlayStation Store. Let's say it's like, uh, Ape, like Ape Escape HD Trilogy or something like that. They're getting like, three bucks, they're getting like, two, Alex, uh, you just bucks. missed it. Six, six well, bucks like, out of that. Alex, well, like, you just six, passed six, the door that was to the jet booster. I couldn't enter that door. But is it like six bucks? Oh, never mind. You had to go to the prison. Now you'll be able to get into the door after, or after talking to Amy. Yes. Now, have any of you guys seen the uh, League of Super Pets movie? No. No. I've seen some clips of it, and it's got that modern Western animation problem where the characters move their heads around way too much and the camera is mostly just still the headed for station square will be departing what? soon what the hell but when you say six bucks cut do you mean like 20 okay, bucks so, okay, okay. Like, okay if they like, so let's like, let's make this 10. Okay. if you have a 10 dollar game they take three bucks okay but like out of the 10 bucks or like yes like out of the 10 bucks okay doesn't sound bad so far. Yeah. But that's it? Like, yeah. they just take that's... No, that's it. Okay. If you sell one thing for 10 bucks, seven of that goes to you, three of that goes to uh, Sony. Okay, that doesn't sound so bad, so what are people complaining about? Uh, maybe that, maybe there's something weird in the language. I didn't read this, so... Mm. Maybe there's something we're missing? Yeah, yeah. probably. I'm not a legal guy, so I, I, I don't understand it. I wouldn't be able to explain it. Neither would I. Uh, speaking of legal stuff, um, our last topic, or second to last topic of the night, uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, we're talking about him again. 
has filed a motion in the Southern District of Florida asserting his uh, Fourth Amendment rights, quote unquote, regarding the unnecessary, unwarranted, and un American break in by the FBI of his uh, Marco Logo estate. And he is representing himself in court, oddly enough, in this mm -hmm. regard. It's not that weird. Yeah, so that's his own lawyer. That's really funny. yeah. That he sounds in line with the weirdness that he he's known for. Like he has hundreds of lawyers, and he has chosen to represent himself. Ready? <laughs> the, moment you, the moment you said that, the laugh track in the game I'm playing decides to activate. <laughs> <laughs> what timing? By the way, Gizmo, what game were you playing? Uh, I'm still playing, and what I, the game I'm still playing is Scooby Doo and the Night of a Hundred Frights on the GameCube. And the thing, and the thing I gotta, and the thing I gotta uh, make sure my GameCube copy of Sonic Adventure 2 works because I am not playing it off the Steam version. <sighs> is there something wrong with the Steam version? It's, yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't work. It's buggy. It doesn't work. It uh, functions. Uh, it functions, but it's buggy. It just doesn't work. It straight up just doesn't work for me. Like literally, I try, I try pressing play. It'll say it's about to play, but then it just stops loading, like altogether, and then it'll act like I haven't even pressed the damn thing. <laughs> so how would you, how will you be playing Sonic Adventure 2, Alex? I'm using the Steam version. Okay then. I'm using I'll be using the GameCube version. You may want to see if you can find some mods to help with the to help get the uh, Dreamcast. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, you're gonna have to get some mods for the uh, Dreamcast version because as there isn't a uh, definitive um SA like it, there isn't a definitive mod like the SADX, the better SADX that I'm that the, the one I'm using. Yeah, I've got a similar one in, but it's not the full SADX, because there was like, there was so, uh, somehow when I, when I activated like the full SADX, it was, uh, better SADX rather, it, um, it made the game be like, cropped, like the, the FMVs were cropped, you know? Yeah, I get Weird. that. Yeah. No fucking hell! Nah! Why does oh, so Sonic what, sound what, like he's being what, choked? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What Steam version doesn't work? Like, what game were we talking uh, about? Sonic there? Adventure 2. Both that versions. Work on Steam? So, you're able to buy them, and apparently you're only able to play them properly if you add mods to Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 on Steam. I've actually been able to play Dude. Sonic Adventure 2 on Steam, but the problem is, is that... I keep having this weird bug whenever I play City Escape, and the bus that Sonic to the, the Sonic knocks away, it just lingers on the top of the screen for some ungodly reason. Weird. I'm, I know. Ben is tired. Go the fuck to sleep. No, uh, let's let's topic. talk briefly. Yeah. Um, Sakurai has announced that he's ending the Smash Ultimate Daily screenshots, but we'll be doing something new in place of it, and we'll be announcing it tomorrow. Okay. I I also want to bring up um. There is a uh in in whatever the latest um. Whatever the latest uh, Spider Verse thing is, a handicapped there is, Spider Woman. There is a oh, well, yeah. There's all there's a handicapped Spider Woman which has like she has these uh, these tanfas that shoot webs, but there's also a black Muslim lesbian Spider Woman who Ooh, has yeah. an afro. And, like, I, I have to bring up something, like, the Greek and Norse gods are a thing in Marvel Comics. Uh -huh. So, so like, how back. does... How does any... And, and, like, when they went to talk to the god of their universe, it was Jack Kirby. 
Well, technically that was the Fantastic Four that talked okay, to the Okay, when the, t when the Fantastic Four went to talk to the god, uh, to the creator of their universe, it was Jack Kirby. And, right. like, how are there Christians and Muslims in the Marvel Universe still? Because they don't Cause, know better. Because, like, those gods don't ever show up in this fucking universe. Muslims like, will go... probably... Muslim probably... Go... You can go talk to the fucking, uh... You can go talk to the Greek and, and Norse gods. You can go, go book, a, book a fucking holiday trip to Asgard. Literally. Walk to Mount Olympus for fuck's sake, you know? Well, hopefully... Well, hopefully if you go to Mount Olympus, you won't encounter Russell Crowe. Oof. Russell Crowe and his terrible Greek accent. Italian slash New Zealand accent. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't know what the fuck was going on with that voice, because that didn't sound right. YTD would, YTD had him do like two different takes because he didn't know which one he liked better. Couldn't have just done what they did with the Norse gods and have them use their own voices, could we? No. It's not like the Norse gods, but just, you know, have, are, are from another world and could reasonably speaking have any accent. Oh yeah, you said, you know, why couldn't they show Muslim gods? I mean, obvious reasons, they don't want to get shot. No, 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 I'm not saying, saying why, why don't they show Muslim gods? I'm just saying it's like, like they don't, Muslim gods never show up. You know, the weird thing, you know, the funny thing is, is that speaking of Muslim, um, there was a uh, thing that someone commented on on Twitter or about a scene involving Halo. Oh, Oh, who is, who is a mother box inhabiting a, um, a dead Muslim girl by the name of Gabriella Doe. Oh, and, or, and, um, and someone's like, what is with, with the left's fetishism of Muslim? They're basically a everything they hate about Christians times ten. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I was just like, yeah, I don't know what, what that is, is either. I just kind of assume maybe if it. I just kind of assume okay. like, like as long look at them, as like long as they're they not Caucasian, Muslim, then that's fine. Yeah. When they think Muslim, they think brown person, and then they think they never they all poor little brown person. Uh, of course. That is like, like I have seen the fucking. Conversations oh. online. Oh, by the way, Alex, there is like Chinese guys that are yes. trying to that are trying to be Muslim, but like the government, the Chinese government are trying to like. Uh, yeah, there, are, there are, there's an Asian, um, the Uyghurs, the Uyghurs or the Uyghurs. Oh, that's how it's pronounced. Yeah. Uh, okay. Alex, I thought it was called. I thought it was pronounced Uyghurs. You're gonna, no, you're gonna, weird. you're gonna really hate this, but like near the end of season three of Young Justice, Lex, when Lex Luthor, or is, when there is evidence of Lex Luthor's wrongdoings in, um, in the show, oh, brought forward to, oh, brought for, or during like a summit or something, and guess what Lex's response is to this evidence? White supremacists blame me? No. He said... The left uh, he, blame me? No. It's Obama? No. He says, and I quote, this is all fake news. <laughs> Mission failed. I actually found that funny. <laughs> I'm like... This isn't near, it's not nearly as good as the one from Sonic 2. You're fake news. Remind, remind me... Wait, when did, was that it said... Good. You did some things, I did some things. There's good people on both sides. Oh! I did not get that! Yeah. I, like, I burst out laughing when I saw that. I was like, like, holy shit, they actually did it. And they they worked it in in a way that was actually fucking funny. Now I'm just playing the Knight's Pinball with the theme song. On while waiting for Alex. ba na na Cause I am gonna need to go to bed soon. Yeah. Um, so after Alex is done with it, 
So after Alex is done with um, Gamma's campaign, I'm going to go to bed. Represented by Donald J. Trump, pro se. Oh, I guess he got sick and tired of uh, Lynn Wood. Um, Sonic Drift Racing was added to the list, taking his goddamn money. Um, before I pass out, uh, what day did you say you're going to work on the titles? I, uh, I was gonna try and do, I was gonna try and do Wednesday. Yeah, but then, right. but Wednesday is also the day we're doing Justice League, so but that, oh I might only be able to get one of them. And done. Thursday, I'm gonna try to, and Thursday, and Thursday, I'm gonna end up, up trying to see if I can work with Shar Dark Sharingan Z on, um, on that little idea I pitched to you. Yeah, Thursday I won't be able to make it because that's class time, but, uh, yeah. There is no mercy in the dojo. No matter how, how, no matter how small you are, there is no mercy. Uh, I actually have a Cobra Kai shirt. <laughs> I do too. Cobra! You guys have a good one. Alright. You guys, you guys have a good one. I'll see you around. See you later, man. See you, man. Have a good night. Night. Alright, Ben is gone. We can talk about, about all the bad things we didn't want to say. Now, which is X death, which is Hell. I don't know, religion, more porn, more sex. Uh, Alex, you were supposed to go to Red Mountain. No, I understand that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to kill a monkey. You don't have to kill the monkey. Oh, I gotta go through there. Okay. I'm you, the game. The gate is literal. The gate is literally just open. You don't have. Yeah, I know. You know what's funny about the the Muslim uh, fetishizing fetishizing thing that nobody really thinks about is the actual fetishizing of Muslims. But not not the figurative the meaning, the not the literal the meaning. I mean, oh wow, because the, I forgot about this because they always the leave a still a thing that people talk world. about. I could have just blown up the gate, but you know, whatever. You know what's sad about Scooby Doo? I really don't think they're going to make any more games. No. Probably not. It's all, and even if they do, it's gonna be based off of a straight to DVD movie that nobody watched. Well, they made a game based on Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Which that is a movie, dude, straight I, DVD movie nobody watched. Yeah, no, everybody watched that one. That was yeah. one of the better. That was one of the better, you know, real monster movies that they had. Along, but you know. Zom the Zombie Island one was the best, obviously. Yeah, Zombie yeah, Island is yeah. still the best as Scooby Doo movie. It's just the problem is that they made a game. They made that game so simple. You know what I mean? Like too simple. Yeah. Like the the controls were weird. The, the enemies outright either ignore you or just act like you're still in front of them. So it's basically a poor man's Crash Bandicoot, is what you're trying to say? Uh, kinda, except they don't do a spin move. Well, Animorphs, well, Animorphs basically main... turn into a Crash Bandicoot clone um, with their, their, main, their PS1 the game. Main weapon you have, the main weapon you have are like five, which is kind of weird because in the movies, the weapons you can use against the virus and other in-game enemies, if they did, if they did, if magnets. they taking it out anyway. Yeah, it was not just magnets, though. It was these super, it was these supercharged magnets that could pull off thumbtacks from the other side of the room, if they, if they're in the room anyway. Okay, um, I'm back. They nearly killed Scooby-Doo and everything. <laughs> Holy shit. What? Like, oh, they they well, Ben just shared some something that's uh. Wow, Warner Brothers are fucking criminals. Why? Yeah. What they do now? 
Um, you wanna read it, Don? I you went on it. the server. Everything was gone. We were like fucking shit. We didn't even get to keep the scenes with Batman in it. They wiped the background footage. All of it's fucking gone. It, like, like whether this movie was gonna be good or not, erasing it like this, this is fucking criminal. Yeah. Like, all yeah. Of the shit that they've been doing lately. I mean, like, I like the fact that they're bringing back, back this, um, you know, Zack's universe and his cast and stuff like that. But, but fuck, man. Oh, you're talking about the canceled Batgirl movie? Yeah. yeah. Like, this is kind of Like, it's, there has to be, like, a hard time. Especially like, with all the stuff. Well, not necessarily. Uh, uh, things get sent to movie theaters uh, entirely digitally. Well, Alex, Nowadays, now you've got, um... Uh, now all you gotta do is go back to the hot shelter and then... Yep. And then... I do you remember the hot shelter? Yeah, like, yeah, cause you were just crazy. there as big and Amy. I, I, I do want to say it's like they genuinely did not want this movie to ever see the light of day. So they do get to eventually the boy, which there are, has done said to criminal. You know no how bad this movie there, is. Not just that, just like here. like all of the stuff they've been doing lately is is de is like like near, if not downright fucking criminal, yeah. but like. Holy shit, man. I mean, keeping Amber... I mean, besides keeping Amber Heard and uh, Ezra Miller... Oh, yeah. Fuck, man. Fuck them both. Amber Heard. Heard. Heard's reportedly being recasted. Apparently, it's Ezra Miller that's staying. That's oh, stupid. It, ah! It's like Amber Heard, like, okay, yeah. It makes sense why anybody would want to recast whatever role she was going to fulfill. Ezra Miller, though? It, uh, it why did you go to Windy cut. Valley, Alex? Yeah, I didn't mean to. It should be clear-cut. Ezra Miller has to be recast because of the shit he's been doing. Yeah. Theft, assault, assault again. Well, assault the third time. Kind of like a friend thing that they do. You gotta go on the... No, not to the final egg, Alex. Select a character. Not the final egg? No. There's oh. that boat that you took as Amy to the to the egg carrier. Oh, fuck. You went down to the final egg, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to turn in for the night because it's it's late. What are we yeah, doing uh, next week? Here. Kingdom Hearts. Shit. <sighs> yep. Someone's gonna need to grind. And the week after is more of my Pokemon Nuzlocke. Are you doing that again? Yeah. Doing it until the game's done. Yeah, I'm doing it until either I white out or the game... Or or until after I complete the Gaiden. I'm not going to catch it's the uh, roaming legendary. I can't do that on, on most routes. So anyway, I'm signing off. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm gonna try and get done with Gamma, and then I'll sh stop, and then I'll start. <clears throat> what I'll probably wind up doing next week is just starting thing and uh, starting Sonic Adventure, finishing it, and then moving on to Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, and then um, and then after, and then God, this climbing animation is derpy. And the week after. Or we'll be doing, um, I'll be doing more Pokemon Coliseum, um, um, after that. At, at, we'll be starting our, our Sonic Adventure, our Sonic Adventure 2 race. Sonic Adventure 2. So, I'll see you guys then. What are but, you doing to me, game? Bye.